Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Saeed TV. We are live for the Mandem Talk. You know what I'm saying? Dude? We're here. International break is over. It's time to talk that talk, man. Crunch end of the season. You know what I'm saying? Is Ten Hag going to survive? Or is he going to stay on and live to fight another year? We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll discuss it all together. we got Marcel making his Mandem Talk debut. You know what I mean? Do rag settings today. What are you telling me? What are yeah, you telling okay, me, bro? man. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, big up everyone, man. Looking forward to the debate today. Let's see how, how things go. Yeah, man. Big up, man. Always, man. Listen, Raj up, Rance, as always. You know what I'm saying? We just did a show on this channel. Make sure you check it out. But yeah, man. Rance, what are you saying, bro? All good, fam. All good, man. This is hey, it's a good weekend, isn't it? We we got what? We got Brighton, Liverpool, then Arsenal, City. We got Brentford. Hey, bro, football's coming back. Is there a Friday game as well? I don't know. It might be. You know, I don't know if this. I don't know. Because it's a bank holiday, so I'm assuming there should be. Oh, the championship. They leave it for the championship, don't they? Okay, okay. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good weekend for football. Going straight back into it. And I think, um, I think they're averaging like a game every two days now. Like once we go back, it's gonna be frantic, bro. Because Champions League's um obviously coming oh, yeah. up. There's so much going on, so there's gonna be loads of football. Yeah, for real, for real, man. Now big up Rance always. Leon in the building. What are you telling me, Leon, man? I feel all good. Yeah, man. I'm here, man. I'm blessed. Big up traps. Just enter the building and I'm not. Um Nuruddin, Marcel, and obviously Rance as well. And say big up you, man. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. calm, man. I'm calm. Obviously, a bit excited this morning. Seeing like the links with Gary O'Neill, my guy, who I believe can do better than Ten R, could be a link with the club, maybe as a coaching role. So, do you know what I mean, man? Hopefully, yeah. but yeah, let's see what happens, man. But yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, 100%. Man, Nuruddin, what are you saying, man? Got caught in the cold today with the in money. What are you saying? <laughs> yo, still try to warm my hands, man. Yo, the blizzard just walked, just walked out of work and into a blizzard, bro. I was thinking, yeah, I can take my time getting here. Nah. It was, an, it was an emergency one, man. But yeah, I'm good. Big up all the kings, man. Big up everybody. Yo, Manny Webb is different, you know. I realised that when I moved there. You lot live. I swear to God, yeah. When you look at like no. Liverpool, you lot in some valley and it's just mad, bro. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's the Pennines, bro. It's those hills, innit? You know, the Pennines. I, I've already tried to put a petition together, man. Dig up the Pennines, innit? So we don't get this madness because that's what's what <laughs> happening. It's that warm weather that comes from like the southern southern Europe and then the weather, the freezing weather that comes from the Nordic part of the world and then the clash Manchester that's why it yeah. rains here more than most places bro yeah but yeah mm. big up man happy to be here man happy to be here like I said Manchester United didn't ruin my weekend you know what I mean I was chilled I had a lovely weekend you know what I mean so um uh yeah I'm looking forward to like as Rant said that's gonna be intense but big up to everybody in the panel and, and then yeah the big up man chaps what are you telling me man all good yeah man I'm all good man I'm all good man I'm happy to see Marcel here. I like Marcel. Yeah. Man. I like Marcel. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, Marcel's good a good stuff, one. Man. You know what I mean? Well gone, well gone, well gone. Yeah, but yeah, man. <laughs> big up everyone, big up the chat, man. We're here, man. Obviously. Yeah, man, we're here. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You get me. <laughs> <laughs> one K in the building. You know what to do, people. There's no coaching badges today. You know what I'm saying, Leiji. <laughs> He's um he's, he's got a break in that big up Yo, um, Tyrone, you know how, listen, you know how hard he took for me to get that one and two coaching by level one and two, man. What are you talking about, man? I'm stick I'm keeping mine. I'm sticking to my coaching <laughs> badges. I ain't dashing them. Trust me. But you know what it is, I'm hearing I'm not on Twitter, so I'm hearing this clip's gone out and it yeah, went viral, bro. Yeah, man. Bro, it went viral, man. It went viral, man. Listen. I got hey, my you know what it is though, yeah? You know what it is with all this kind of stuff, yeah? up the chart, you know? That's your fault, you know? Do you know what I mean? Just like when you kick craps That's out of the stream, you're on some badness, man. Nah, bro, he had to do it though. He had to do it because Not that was the only way it. to settle it. Sometimes, sometimes as men, the only way to settle the debate, yeah, is to actually have the debate. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's that's what it was. Yeah, for real, for real, man. Trust what are you going to say there? No, you know what it is, yeah? Like, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, yeah? I'm starting to detect a pattern here, yeah? When certain things happen, yeah, certain men just disappear, bro, yeah? And oh, I, I don't yeah. care what's going on in their lives, bro. <laughs> I don't care what's going on in their lives, bro. I'm not going to lie to you, because you know what No, no, is, let, yeah? me, let me back him up. Let me back him up. He said he's on a seven-day fast, didn't it? 
So I'm going to respect so that. You might have forced him right now, but you might are still here, bro. So I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I know. I know, but I don't it's different. This, different you know this year, I don't know, but I want to respect you know, people in this. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, say, because you don't sit there. And yeah, let traps land, bro, because I'm, I'm on my own. They're as rude as they want, and then when they get cooked, yeah, they don't want to show up no more. They want to be as rude as they want, though. I'm, 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 obviously, that's what I'm going to say, but I'm saying I'm detecting a pattern here. And yeah, I'm 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 not gonna lie, man. It's 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 looking it's looking it's looking mm. mad. Like, how can I put this? Mad insecure, isn't it? That's what I think, bro. I mean, that's 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 probably the best way I can put it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Listen, obviously, like I said to you, man. You know, what I'm saying he said he's on a seven day fast. I'm gonna respect that, but he'll be back next week. You know, what I mean, he ain't going anywhere. He'll be back next week, and then what's you know the what occasion I mean? though for the fast? Uh, I don't know, man. Some, man I don't know. Seven like day Christian, fast, that's a cop out. Man, man, them do, man out. doing a whole month, man's doing <laughs> seven fair, days and that. To be fair, Neji's in France modeling, but yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I did say to I did say to him, jump on, you know what I mean? To be fair, yeah. So yeah, so listen, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, this is crazy, man. You lot in the chat need to relax, man. You, know what I'm <laughs> you lot in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you lot in the no, chat. It's, Chill it's, out, it's man. It's, it's the truth, though. How are you gonna? How are you going to tell a man no, that you're fasting for thirty days that you are fasting? This is crazy. For seven, for seven. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's what it is anyway. Like I said, it is what it is. Yeah, we're here. We're here. Do you know what? Here. I don't. Want, I don't, like I don't I... want to speak too much here because obviously, man's not here to defend himself. But I'm detecting a pattern here. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay, okay. No, but Let's you, know what, to be fair, though, you know what, traps? We always have seen it. People have got busy lives as well, bro. Let's, let's have some context in it. Be objective. Well, yeah. Some people well, have got be busy lives as well. Like, but Nuridin, the last show, the last show, man, man, man said to man said to everybody on the show that like I can't talk to him about football because all I do is sit on my ass all day and do nothing. Like he knows me personally. So why am I? Nah, but bro, yeah. come on. Don't give a about what he's doing. Like, yeah, but, no, no, traps. I hear you, but but traps. When oh, when he though, said he that knows. to you, that is why that is why I did what I did because when he said that to you, I thought, all right, cool. We didn't need to go there, innit? Like, man, then we can have football debates all the time. But I as agree soon with as we that. Go away from football and we start talking about each other. This is when yeah, yeah, yeah it's too Examples fast. need to be, fair, to be made, innit? And the example no, that, was made, and now it's done. Listen, to be fair, sometimes though, like if you all have like one point of view, it can be like everybody's. You know what I mean? We're all around the man in like the... We've got, got the man cornered in it, you know what I mean? Man from different mm. ends. we got him all cornered in it. <laughs> <laughs> in his space. And we're you know all like not... faking in turns. Man you know said he I mean? got rushed. Yeah, man are getting rushed so, on here, you know? That's what Crazy. I think. So, so, so for me... <laughs> What's going on here? It's like an atmosphere, but you know what? I love Neji. I love my brother. And you know what I mean? To me, he argued his points. We mm. just disagree. Yeah. Some of us disagree fundamentally. Yeah. And that's nah, the you know what, of, you know yeah. what yeah. But yeah, I understand you know, you know what, what you're saying about when you know things get personal. Like, you're hearing it from a certain personal. point of view, yeah. But like obviously, I, like I said, I didn't really want to do this whilst he wasn't here. But this guy But let's save it. Let's save it. No, let's save it, Trump. Let's save it when he's here. Times, yeah, this isn't this is not just a little one off argument. This has been going on for ages. From the minute I come on Mandem talk, this guy's had an issue with me. And I don't know what it is, and I don't really care. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we'll settle it, we'll settle it. So I wanted him to be here personally because I wanted to just air it out and just get it done. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I don't understand how you can have an issue with someone who you don't actually know on a personal level. Yeah, yeah, you've had yeah. an argument. You've been rude. You've apologised. You've blocked me. So I don't understand why you feel the need to be coming here and being rude. So that's what that's, that's the point. And when I ask questions, I get told, yeah, that I need to be amicable for Saeed's show. That's what, I, that's what I was told. But at the same time, the same person that told me that to be amicable for the show is not being amicable by telling by saying little slide digs and that like I can't hear him. You get what I'm saying? So hey, right nah, now, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. When he's here, when he's here, we'll we'll settle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Personal, you know what? Me, I don't, I don't nah, want to nah. get personal with anybody. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. football yeah. opinion, bro. It ain't that deep. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's why I say, man. It's not deep, bro. You know what it is? Yeah, yeah. Neji's my guy. Especially, well, you yeah, know but... what? Especially as black men as well, man. You've got to understand yeah. that. Yeah, yeah we did, bro, when we're all in here, we'll, we'll, we'll settle it and then we just move, yeah, 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 move yeah, yeah. along. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, I just you know, want to... Yes, exactly. Let me just add exactly. to what you're saying, yeah? No, Neji's my guy, but I don't agree with the whole, like, there's no point making comments in Rara because it's just, for me, it's loud that. Do you know what I mean? Just like, let's just keep it on thing in if man have got a thing then yeah by the time it gets to the end we're all growing in it so we've got to be able to handle it that yeah. extra commenting i would agree with you man that's not i mean sorry traps that's for me 
Even me, I'm on there like, bro, loud. No, Leon, I see you trying, you trying, trying to say no, nothing less than that. Do you know what I'm saying? I see you doing yeah, it. Yeah, because it's loud. Me, I just try and ignore it. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? I try and ignore it. Passive aggressive, bro. I'm not into that. I don't understand. You know what is yet? I don't understand this YouTube stuff. Like, I'm not a YouTuber like that. I hear so, it. I hear it. If you've got a problem, we can sort it out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, I how, that. that's how I see it. I don't, under- yeah. I don't understand how you should have a problem with someone that you don't know. But it is what it is. Like I said, let's just move on from the show because I'd rather do this one. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Big no, no, hundred percent, hundred percent, man, hundred percent. Big up no. everyone locked in, man. Well, yeah, big up <coughs> everyone. Like I said, man, we, this is what we try to do, man. We try to have the WhatsApp debates into the mandem talk. So, big up to everyone here. One point three k in the building. A uh, HKN is uh, saying that everyone is back, so no excuse for Ten Hag. We need to win games and play well. And what do you expect from man that rates Bruno and what Eric Ten Hag to stay four years? Two defensive line, man is death or concuss. Listen, we're gonna start, yeah. Crunch time for Ten Hag, 12th game to save his job when you include the uh, the FA Cups in there as well. I'll start with you, Marcel, obviously. You know what I mean? Welcome to the show, by the way. Ten Hag, your big, big up Ten Marcel. Hag supporter. Yeah, big up Marcel. Ten Hag supporter, do you think yeah. he's got the capabilities of saving his job? Do you think he's got the backing? How do you feel and assess the coming of this kind of running now? Like, Are you feeling confident? What you ten saying? games, ten, 10 games left. I, I don't think it's to save his job. I think it's just to get into Europe. I think um, you know, Champions League or Europe will be fine, will be suffice. I really think he's gonna try and push for a trophy. So, in my opinion, what do I think Inos would do? As long as he's in Europe, I think they keep him on, whether that's Europa League or Champions League. That's just my opinion. But for me, I think the target definitely has to be that Champions League spot. You know, I I, I think we can see third or look at third as a target chasing the third position. I'm not saying we'll achieve it, but chase the third position. And I think you definitely end up somewhere in fourth place. And and, and that's definitely achievable for us. I think, you know, Spurs and Villa have got six-pointer games to play as well. So it's going to be very, very interesting, those last 10 games of the season um, for, for all three of the teams in and around there. And I think we've got maybe the nicer run of fixtures. So, you know, it look, it's, it could be potentially, especially the first four games that we're playing, I think, what's that? Brett, Chelsea, Brentford, Liverpool, I think's in there as well. They're all three winnable games and, and that gives you a decent run, you know, leading into the to the next three fixtures after the after the break. Um I don't think his I don't think his job's really in doubt. Too tough. I think you I think you know players coming back means that you know we'll we'll have a good kind of system. Players will be ready to play in, in the way that he wants them to play. And I think it's just about being positive for the for the end of the season now. And and, and let's see what they can do in the in, you know in the January uh, sorry, not in the January, in the summer window next season, because that's gonna be the most important. Can I ask you a question, Mark? Before you go, before you go. I just want to say like I don't want to misinterpret what you said there. Mm. Do you mean aim for third so it becomes easy to get top four? Are you saying third is still possible for Manchester United this season? Both. Both. I'm saying both, but I mean the first. I mean the the former than the latter. But it's you can think of it both ways because it's numer- it is still numerically possible for them to reach third. But am I saying that directly? No. Like, like we've just... 24 points. But uh, no, uh, third place is twenty four points. It's not. Yeah, so it's twenty four points. Like it's miles not. away. I don't think it is. We're on thirty. Let me see. Let me see now. Sorry, my bad. I read the wrong thing. Yeah, I know. Miles, no, miles, no, no. miles. It's not. It's like fifteen points. So it's very achievable anyway. The third place. Um, like I was saying, and 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 and, but like I said, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that's how Manchester United Football Club should be looking at this picture. That's definitely how we should be looking at it. We can achieve third. It's numerically possible to achieve third, and and. But at the same time, my target, I say, like I said, would be four. Hold on, so what? There's 30 possible points to play for, yeah? We're 15 points off third, and you think it's numerically possible? Yeah, you just, you literally just said it. No, 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 no. When when I say numerically (laughs) possible, I know how you mean it, yeah? And I Mm. I know that the reality that we live in, innit? Do you know what I mean? Like, we work on probabilities, not possibilities. That's what we're supposed to do, innit? So saying it's numerically, numerically, possible yeah is very disingenuous look at the three teams yeah look at the three teams the three best teams in the country are arsenal liverpool and man city Mm -hmm. i think we can agree that we're nowhere near any of them so to say that we're going to get above one of these teams yeah like is is cuckoo bruv that's what it is well well let's look at a list that this then rants if you pull it up i think you know that especially the last few fixtures of the season for all of those teams as well that we're all playing that every single team within the top six rants is playing each other so there's six pointers there. Yeah, but like how you do said, you 
Marcel, can I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm saying though, so so like so, on, my brother. so like I'm saying though, Rance, it's like it's a thing where pe- people will be dropping massive amount of points. I think there's going to be some ebbs and flows. Yes, the level of consistency is required, maybe seven or eight wins, Rance, because like you said, those three t- those those three teams in particular, they're superior. And they're, and, they're, and they're running into form. Their, their ability to create good form is, is high probability. But they're facing each other as well, Rance. You know, then within that top six, I still think it can be possible, you know, with teams... Oh, because got- they're facing each other, you do know that both teams can't lose. What do you mean both teams can't lose? Like, in terms You're of... You're saying they're facing each other, like, one of them is not... So they're, they're getting points. Like, both yeah, teams the other can't team- lose. Yeah, but the other team will be dropping points, Rance. And then there's other it teams. Doesn't will be there. But it doesn't matter because you've got you've got Man City, you've got Liverpool, mm. and you've got Arsenal. Even if they're all playing each other, yeah, they're I'm all gonna be picking up points. Like they can't yeah. all lose, is what I'm saying. And then you're relying on teams below them. To we're, be always, them. we're always gonna be doing that though. Do you know what I mean? And then one of those teams out of those top three are gonna drop are gonna drop out of that position in terms of vying for the top position. One of them are going to drop the form, I believe. Do, do you know? Do you know what? Yeah. I just say something. Sorry. Why does Faz? Why does? One second, guys. Why does Faz look AI? What's wrong with him? Why do you look AI, Faz? What's wrong? With him? <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, sorry, Rance, go on. Big, big, big up the big up the man them that do skincare routine and that yeah, skin's glowing. This guy, humbly, like, look at you. Look, you're about to pick someone up. Man's picking someone up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get out the studio and you know maybe get some vitamin D. Pause. Pause. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say, bro. <laughs> I'm about to say, bro. Hey, listen, Fancy Yo. going to one of them Scarface weddings with that shirt, bro. <laughs> 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 bro. Nah, bro. Yo, big up fast, man. Aye. Big up fast. Yeah, big up fast, man. The background looks like it's somewhere, man. Somewhere, somewhere. It looks like AI, isn't it? it? That's what I'm saying. It looks more. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Live in the flesh. Look, do you know what? Yeah, yeah go on, go on. Right. Yeah, go on. Did you see? Do you know? Do you know what? Yeah, I'll be so real with you. Yeah, even though I might not necessarily agree with what Marcel says, yeah, but you know what? Yeah, I respect what he's. Do you know why? Because he is. Yeah, he is the. He is the prime example of what this club wants a fan to be. Yeah, Agreed. he wants them to be in alignment. With what's going on, and 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 be very optimistic, and believe, and 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 also present it to other people as well. Because the reality of it is, is that if you're in a football season, and you are looking at the results of a, of a, of a next team, in order for it to benefit your team, you've already lost. You've already lost at the end of the day yeah. because you put your you're you're in a position where you it's out of your hands. You have to rely on other people, other teams, to, to, to drop points for you to get where you, you need to get. I think the reality of it is, is that the United fans need to pray that this coefficient thing does what it does and it gets you the fifth place. <laughs> and then you can start talking about Champions League. But as it stands, Manchester United, as a football club, do not deserve Champions League football, as we've seen. And mm-hmm. if they get into the Champions League... We just came out of it, bro, Trap. We just came out of it. We just came if out they, of it in, in, in December. Yeah. Not with this you, manager. This manager does not deserve top four. I just don't think we're ready, guys. League, I don't think we're ready for It's that. by pure fortune. And at the end of the day, is what you need to look at is, is this is, is this Champions League spot a sustainable thing? Are we going to get in the Champions League next season and not be embarrassed again? Mm-hmm. And, then be, um, and then be clutching, thinking that, oh, yeah, we can get top four. And then what? Everything that we used to cook Arsenal fans for, being top four merchants and whatnot, is this what we want to become? So the reality of it is, is that I think that Man United need to get what they deserve. So if that is seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, whatever, they get what they deserve. And then that shows you where you're at and what you need to do to go to the next level. Because getting into the Champions League and then you, you might get, the summer, in the summer you might get a, like one of them surprise here we goes with a, with a with a with a with a, with a, with a marquee signing that you think you're gonna win the league or you think you're gonna challenge for something and then you just let down again. So realistically, Man United need to end up give get go be end up where they deserve and work from there. I mean, in terms of the manager's job, I personally think that if he if he does get the Champions League and he does win the FA Cup, I, I mean, I don't really think they're gonna sack him. 
I'll be real. I don't think they are. Because at the end of the day, you've won a trophy, second year in a row, and you qualify for the Champions League. So they're getting their dough. And obviously the fans are getting the fans are getting a bit of um a bit of a, a um you know a bit of glory to, to, to like to a short term winning it basically. Mm. But hey, of course, of it, of course. That, I do think if he does keep his job, I do think next season will be very intense for him because it's it's gonna be a thing where you gotta put up or sharp now, mate, because you 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 slid through with two 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 trophies, you've got in the Champions League two years in a row, but we're trying to go to the next level. So are you taking us there? Because like I said, yeah. this Barada guy, he, he like he said, he said the two years, people get two years to perform, otherwise they're out. And I, I, I'm guessing that goes for the manager as well. So if it goes downhill for him, because I, all this stuff about players coming back and whatnot, it goes back to like coaching, what like, like what Leon and Rant said about, if you coach a man to do a certain thing, he does it. Exactly. He's a professional football player. He does it. He might not do it to the standard that you want it to be done, but at least you can see that he's being told what to do and he's failing. So Thanks. I don't know, but I I just think this whole I'm not get don't get me wrong. I, I I do think as well, I do think as well, this whole Southgate in thing, I feel like people have thought, raw, you know what? Yeah. Ted Hawk might not be a bad thing after all, you know. Mm. <laughs> So I think, yeah, I don't, know, I, I don't know. I don't know if the PR's got to certain man. And it's like Saying it's all that, the manager's yeah. gone. So I look forward to life without him. I, decisions already been made, mate. That's what I honest. think. Something new. It's already Sorry. been made. I, I'll be completely honest. Yeah, if you listen to everything that the new owners are saying, yeah, you have to throw it all in the bin if they keep this manager. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I if feel. If they exactly keep this manager, it means everything mm. they set up to this point was a lie. Yeah, all because of them. They said, they said that they're coming in with a plan. They want to get the best in class. All of these other things. If they come in and they keep the man that's already here, that means they're already venturing away from what they decided they were going to do. Which means you can't take anything else they say seriously either. They have to make yeah. a statement by getting rid of him, no matter what. They have to because they understand that their reputation relies on it. I disagree with that, Rand. Oh, so Jim has been saying. So Jim, so Jim has been saying that he's, he's, he wants to focus on the structure right now. And yeah, I the think, structure. The manager's part of the structure. I hear that. I hear that. But I think, you know, he's been saying that no manager's been able to be successful within the last 10 years under the current, under the way that the club's been operating. That's so correct. I think his work would be mainly to fix the structure. And I think that keeps Ten Hag in for at least this season. Um, if, he, if he's able to be, uh, you know, successful, then it shows that Ineos are able to set up a good structure in and around the manager and for the football club something that we haven't been able to see within the last 10 years. So I think it's about maybe Ineos doing what they're saying what they're going to do, which is what Sir Jim has said, which is sorting out a structure and, and being allow allowing it to work under Eric Ten Hag, I think. That's why they'll keep Yeah, but why would you allow it to work underneath a manager that you didn't bring in? No, that, doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't make no sense, bro. That's, do... that's, like, that's like moving into a yard, yeah, and there's there's a living chef or something like that. It's like, all right, cool, you're a chef, but you're not cooking the food I want. I'm going to bring my own chef to cook the food. <laughs> like, yeah. it don't make no sense, like, well, do you know well, what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to bring my own chef that knows, how to, the that knows <laughs> how to cook the food that I want to eat, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make no sense. You don't move in, yeah, and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to change everything, but I'm just going to keep just him and change everything else. That it is easier to just change him. Do you, know, do you know what you have to look at as well, yeah? Do you know what you have to look at as well with this whole structure thing as well? People go on, like, the structure. Because Rent said it before. He said it a few a few mm -hmm. streams ago. He said that the manager is the most interchangeable part of the structure. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. whether it's Ten Hag or not, they're still going to be able to do what they want to do. So if they're saying, right, we want a fresh start, it would make sense for them to say, you know what? Thanks for the memories. See you later. Yeah, see we're you later. get this guy in. This guy is going to get us to this part. And then, obviously, we might go for a top-class manager as and when we can showcase that we can sustain certain things. Which makes sense, because but all this thing about the structure, like the, the structure doesn't involve Ten Hag. It doesn't involve him one little piece. Mm -hmm. He's, He's a just a manager. Piece. He's a little piece. Well, well, that, okay, well, well right, me and Rance were just saying that it's, it's part of it. Now you're saying it's not part of it. And then I think before, you are also mentioning the fact that it's very interchangeable. But if something's extremely interchangeable, then it also might suggest it doesn't need to be changed because it, it, no. it can just be so... You know what it is, Marcel? Swap and, hold on, Leon. Hold on, please. So it's so swap and changey. 
So for me, I think it's just it's, it's really important that we understand that this is Ineos' opportunity to show us that they can put something in that hasn't been there for 10 years. Mm -hmm. This current manager has been successful for the last, well, especially last season, lifting a trophy is a success. And then if he delivers that again this season, that's two seasons of lifting a, trof a, tr a, lifting a trophy. So under the current circumstances and predicaments that he's had to deal with, he's been successful twice in two seasons in a row. Or let's just say if he gets into to top four, because that's what we're all saying is the benchmark. You know, not so if all he of gets us. in... Okay, not all of us. Not, mm, but not under what, yeah, under what circumstances? It's a bare minimum though, for me. Bare minimum under for under me, what circumstances, though, Leon? Because if you looked at the beginning of the season, was you, was your benchmark the champ, the Premier League? You're no, so your head, no. My, my your benchmark. was your benchmark the Champions League? You're most I didn't share my head as well. I didn't share my head as well. I know we love. I know we love. We love a girl analogy, bro. In in these situations, still is. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. The best way to put it for you guys is, bro. Is it easier? To get your girl to change her behavior, just get a new girl. You're it's great always again. easier to get mm. a new girl, blood. Listen, once someone mm. yeah is set in their own ways and they used to behave in a certain amount, a certain way, it's easier to go out and get a new girl and say, "Listen, this is the new rules, isn't it? You're coming in, and this is this is the groundwork." Instead of saying to a girl that's been used to doing something a certain way for two years, "All right, cool, everything's changing now," bro, she ain't just gonna be like, "Yeah, of course, whatever you say." Like, no, that's not how it works, bro. This brother has built bad habits. He's got certain relationships that he severed with certain players. He's used to doing things a certain way, yeah? And then you're going to change everything around him and keep him? And you think that he's not going to be disgruntled? Even if he does the job, he's not going to do it as happily and as willingly, yeah, as someone that's brand new, yeah, fresh in, that understands well. what they're, they're walking into, bro. Again, and that's exactly why you don't change everything around the manager and keep the manager. It makes no sense. Because then you're I, putting I, the I manager over the club. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't make that, that... Think about that manager. But Marcel, let me explain my point to you and stuff like that. Because obviously, like, me and you have actually spoke before and I've obviously had a level of understanding of why you wanted Ten Hag. A lot of people might not know that, and correct me if I'm wrong, you wanted Ten Hag because you'd studied and watched him at other places. So it's not a case of you just want this guy because... Don't tell that nerd is. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's in uh, Nuridin's PTSD there, isn't it? But like, um, Marshall don't trigger me. Don't trigger I, me I quite, remember when we was on stream, Marshall, and I said, Let me explain to me why you're so set on this manager. And you were saying, like, I've watched him at these places, I like his ideology, I believe in this, and I believe with the time frame and that. So you're entitled to your own opinion. For me, I think me and AG cash a lot because he talks about a successful season or a miracle season is down to a position in the table. But I can see all of these other things in front of me that would lead to success that are not right. So for me, I can't just look at a trophy and a position in the table. For me, I've got mm. to look at the way you man manage. I've got to way look at the way you develop players. I've got to look at the way that you mm. speak. I've got to think, are you the all-round package? And I've said this a few times. If he's a top trump card, like them FIFA card things, yeah, how many attributes are you rating? Let's just say it's out of five, uh, up four or five. For me, he's like two on every single one. So, like, probably one on others and zero on others. So, and Marcel, the sample size for me is too big. If I take take your head out of the future right now and look at the last two years and tell me how many games that we've played well, how many players have developed, how many times that we've actually seen a system. Well, you might say there is, but I can't see one consistently. And then I look at other teams and even like the Liverpool example I used last week, I've seen it quickly with Klopp. I've seen it quickly with Ange. I've seen it quickly with Zerbi. So, I can't ignore all of these big things for a league position and that's why I can't do it no more. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't uh, market it down no. to a league position. I can articulate on all those fronts that you're talking about as well and for positives towards Ten Hag on all the fronts, man management fronts. I don't think he's made one man management decision. We can go through really? every single one. Really? We can, though? we can go through every say single that, one say that again, you, really? Leon. We can go through every single one for you, Leon. So, you know, that's that, you know, and then even the injuries, anything that you articulate on what's happened with Ten Hag, I can give you very reason. It's not just the position that, that we were talking about specific things at that moment. So I've referenced the position uh, where he finished on the table and what he's achieved for okay. to, to reference success. But on any other metric you want to talk about regarding Ten Hag, I've got one. Discuss it. I got one. Adaptability. Yeah. Explain that one because the guy don't adapt to nothing. Yeah, his in-game management has been poor uh, this season, particularly. But last season, we were crediting it in terms of the substitutions. Yeah, if we stick on this on. season, why? Like, I can't deal with a manager that can't adapt, bro. All it, <laughs> wow, myself, yeah. all I'm hearing though is I haven't got the players that I want. I can't do this. It's like, bro, like, can you not? 
I want a manager that makes things happen. I want a manager where it's like, just if we swap that player out of there and give a little bit more quality, I can see what's going to happen. I mm -hmm. just can't, bro. It's just <laughs> like, we, bro, look at the amount of goals that we've scored. It's a, it, a United is an all time low right now. Like, my standard is not this. Even my best. We, we said, we said your standard is not the last 10 years either, Leon. Your no, standard. But other managers have performed to a bigger baseline. You're, you're, you're talking Easily. over Easily. the point I'm trying to lay here, though. Like, your standard hasn't been in the last 10 years. Just admit that. Let's just my standard's been higher comments. in the last 10 years. My standard what, what, but it's just not been that for the last. Like, you're still arguing it. It just hasn't been your standard the last 10 years, bro. And once you realize, once you come to that reality, it brings you to a never place. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense because we've scored more goals and finished in higher positions and look like we've played yeah, more not, convincing football. We've scored more than four goals in a game in other seasons, bro. Yeah, but we that. haven't been we haven't been playing front foot football in, uh, for majority of those seasons. So we've so that's why you're finding this difficult period where you're you're looking at the last season and saying what. And by the way, he's got the best win percentage over the last two years. So no, you, but I hate that stuff. Nah, I'll do that. that I'll do that, bro. Because it doesn't that, tell the story. That. Tell Saeed that he watches it every week. I can't do bro, it. Bro, you know, how, how much has he got more on Mourinho? How much has he got more on Mourinho? Tell me. said it last week. These other managers have gone on to do like no, no, let, me ask him, let me ask and... myself how much more has he got on Mourinho it's, it's a thin it's a thin slight of like a two well, there you a go what's the, two percentage? Two percentage. What's yeah, the last percentage more let's talk about the loss percentage did what what's did Joe in the games this in, into the season what are you talking about for the uh, what we've got right now wins to loss ratio Mourinho well, doesn't yeah. everyone's yeah. talking yeah. about the wins ratio let's talk about the amount of losses bro how many losses have we got this season? Like 10 or something? 11. 16 in total, bro. 16, 16 11 in the total. league. Yeah, yeah but in the, in, in, in the Premier League. Focus on the Premier League, Leon. Focus 11. on the Premier League. 11. 11. 11. League. 11. 11. 11. That's I, have, I, think, I, think, I think I think we need to ask Marcel the, the, the famous question, you know. What's your... What's your... What's your... What's your... Yeah. What, what do you, what, how do you say it, Leon? Baseline. Sure. Where's your baseline where your manager out? What, what is, you can't answer. What's the point where you turn around and you say... I've had enough of this. This yeah. is rubbish. I think if we if we achieve maybe outside of Europe, maybe re, like you, if you're finishing sixth or seventh, but I can understand that within this part of the process where you're trying to get a squad of 25 front foot footballers, footballers that can play on the halfway line. Maguire can't play on the halfway line. Scott's not good enough, but it looks like the club wants to keep Scott. So he has to find the role on the bench within the squad for Scott. There's, that's what's going to happen. But, you know, other players, uh, Martial, Sancho, all of this needs to go. And then I need my manager that wants to play front foot football to get hold of 25 front foot footballers that can actually do the job. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And, yeah, then, they, and that takes, that's they, a process. They play the best front football though. That, Let's be that, honest. That's a process. That's football. a process, Leon. That's a process, Leon. That Pep got the opportunity to achieve and and see out. That Klopp got the opportunity to see out. And see out. And Arteta and Arteta got to achieve and see out. They've been there for enough years to really get foot foot on the ground, and they've achieved less. Some of those managers within two seasons, by the way, Leon. But they've really been able to go through that process of getting rid of footballers that are. Can, can, can I just make one point? Can I just come back? Can I just come in here? No, big up, Luke. Yeah, they let fast come in after if you can. Marcel, listen, Leon. I'm not as ideological. Yeah. I'm not. I'm never been ideological other than Jose. Jose did my head in. Yeah, we, we talked outside the stadium. You know, we know each other. We, we've chatted before. So for me, after Jose, I was like, Yo, we can't be all these managers. It's got to be something rotten in it, right? And then whatever happened happened i made a youtube about it explaining what the structure is to the fan base some of the youngsters so to me i'm not somebody who's ideologically saying that managers i'm always like whatever's happening in your boardroom whatever's happening how your owners are what they are the type of kind of like care the type of like the type of like ambition that they have will always translate what you see on a saturday or a wednesday you know what i mean so for me i'm not that kind of guy to me just biggest Ten Hag lost me. He lost me in January last year. Mm. I've been calling this since last year, January, because I was like, yo, I'm not about you focusing on four trophy business and that, because I knew what was going to happen. So the point I want to say to you, he's catfished me, me personally. He's let me down. This is the manager at Manchester United has let me down the most. He's let me down. The only guy that I didn't want to get rid of, and I, when I look back, is a regret, is LBG. 100%. It's LBG. He just didn't get the players, right? But the football... He made absolute people who are not even that. Paddy McNair. Uh, what's that other kid? The black kid that plays. Tyler Blackett. Tyler Blackett. Tyler Blackett. Um, what was, what was my bridging who lives around the corner from my auntie, man? He used to be the left back. Remember the left back? He played left back and then he went on loan to Blackett. Mitchell. But, 
Yeah, sure. Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He made all yeah, these yeah. players, yeah, right? All these players who are local. Some of them are local. So play, play yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made them, coach them to receive, pass, head up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Into shape, positioning. So when I see that level, and then I even see what companies doing at Burnley, results aside, I'm not a result Trust merchant. Me. I'm not a result. I'm about yeah. how your football team is coached. That's what I am because, like I said, how you I get to the result. Teams. Listen, I help the coach team. I used to help co- coach teams, and I'm a football football person. Into I'm a I'm a match goer. I'm a passing merchant. I'm a good football merchant. For me, Eric did not catfish me because I saw his Ajax team ball out: Valencia, Real Madrid, Chelsea, <laughs> Spurs. You know, what I mean, ball all around around Europe. We're a hair this bit away, a couple of seconds away from them going into the Champions League final. So for me, when I think about Eric Ten Hag, it's not thinking. I was even behind this. I, you know what? I was like, I want a, I want a bastard. I want a dictator at this club. You know what I mean? I want a guy who's going to discipline these overpaid merchants, yeah? So even around a disciplinarian. But once he started to discipline certain people, and not discipline other people. Other people I was yeah. like, yo, you're losing me. But for me, mm. what the biggest thing is, when I go to games, myself, and I'm leaving early, I'm leaving 15 minutes yeah, that's early, mad. And for about 40 minutes, I'm on my phone, checking out Twitter, see what the... T- and I'm, I'm going into spaces on Twitter when I'm at the game. What does that yeah, tell yeah. you about what I'm watching? So for me, this season, when I look at Ten Hag, I'm like, You've not done anything to me to say that you're guaranteed another year. He has not done anything. The only thing that I saw at home in the last 10, 15 games, other than our two games in mind, yeah? The second half of Aston Villa, because my memory is that good, bro. <laughs> second half of Aston Villa and the first 35 minutes against Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. That was it. That's all I've seen in terms of football that I want my team to play. And you know what, Marcel? I'm not about winning because I know that Man United are not here to compete Champions League. They're not able to compete for a league title. So I want a base what, yeah. of fundamentals of football being on. Me and Saeed and straight, we've had arguments. I'm, arguments not, a, a minute, I'm not a Mickey Mouse trophy merchant. I'm not about <laughs> these things. I'm not asked about the League Cup. The only cup that I'm asked about is the FA Cup because that's additional to me. And I still believe it's the oldest and the greatest cup competition in the world. It starts when it ends. You know what I mean? I played against teams who played in the FA Cup. And I play Sun- Sunday League and Saturday League. That's why I think it's the greatest cup competition in the world. But I'm not asked about Europa League. To me, that even hurts me. It really hurts. Nothing hurts more than me going to that stadium, hearing Europa League music. When I've been after yeah. that, I strep for them Champions League nights. <laughs> and when I hear Champions League, trust me, the hairs on my back of my neck stand up, man. I get goosebumps. Because I remember all the memories start flushing back. So for me, I'm like, I want to finish ninth. And I argue with people like, what? No Europe. I want to give a coach to come in in the summer. And I want to give him that season to, to drill. I need yeah. a drill sergeant. Man, who comes there and drill? Marcel ain't having it. Oh, when you're not doing it on a Saturday. Well, I've got to give him the respect, the to, to hear it out. fuck off the pitch. If you yeah. ain't doing it on match day, and I'm not seeing you do it, I'm not telling you once, get the F off the football pitch, and I'll put somebody who will nice do fucks, it. Though. It don't mean that it's going to be in the same quality. I'm not asked. I'm happy to build that. So my 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 vision for Manchester United is build a team that can box teams off the park. When you do that, add them to the quality. Then we can go and challenge for the big trophies. That's what I want. Everybody yeah. wants different. So, yeah, let me bring in Faz. Faz hasn't spoke yet. Faz, oh, yeah. chat, and then we'll bring big, Ryan big, away. We got Ryan, yeah. by the way. Smash your like, people, man. Smash your like. Big up everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah Firstly, yeah. respect to Marcel for coming because obviously he's the only person who's he's probably a die-hard, live by the sword, die by the sword, Ten Hag, uh, 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 you know, fan. Um, and and obviously I I know Marcel for a very long time, so I respect him for coming and, and yeah, having yeah, his of course, opinion. Of course. But Marcel, with no disrespect, uh, I will tell all <laughs> you and all of your clan the same thing clan, is. Yeah. You guys, the reason why you do these things, uh, you, you know, Ten Hag Innes would make an appearance here and there is because you want to save face. And deep down inside, you know, this is this is me telling as honestly, honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the start of success. You 
are not able to look at yourself dead in the mirror and say, I fucked up. I got it wrong. I fell in the trap. I heard the spaces. I saw the Twitter tacticals. I saw the threads. I saw triangles. And I thought I knew what I was talking about. And guess what? I fucked up. That's the bottom line of it. Because we all, Marcel is not the only person in the world that saw Ajax football. We all done gone and saw it because we were so invested. Mm. Eric Ten Hag inherited players in Ajax like he inherited players in Manchester United. Some are better than others. Now, funny enough, Manchester United fans want to talk about trophies as a benchmark like he won trophy last season. But well, 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 Manchester United fans didn't have this volume and bass in their voice when Jose Mourinho was winning things, when Van Hal mm. was winning things, when Ole Gunnar lost in a final. But you learn from all of those lessons and because Eric Ten Hag is your baby boy manager. That is what it is. You love him. You love him so dearly that you can't see the wrong he does. And even when he does wrong, you don't want to call it. You know what it reminds me of, Saeed? When I was young, I used to have some friends whose parents would baby boy and baby girl those kids even when the kids are wrong. Mm. Even, and you know what we call them, Saeed? We call them brats. That's the <laughs> name of those kids. Ten Hag Innes are brats. With uh, the utmost respect, because we, we all support the same club. You guys are brats. I have never been an inner or outer in my life. I have been a Manchester United fan all my life. I now have to uh, disagree and identify in, in, a, in an era when people identify as they, them, he, she, this, that, the other. I have to identify as an outer, apparently, in football. That's what it is. In every... Unai Emery, how many players did he get? Where does he come from? How come the player that doesn't turn up to work goes to his former club and turns up to work? How does that make sense? How, who is the manager of Borussia Dortmund? How did he end up where he's ended up? What players does he have? Well, you talk about structure. Isn't that the same structure that got in Anthony and Ajax and Eric Ten Hag made his name? Funny enough, we now need the same players that we needed when Eric Ten Hag joined Manchester United. How funny is that? We need the exact same players that we, we need a right winger. How, why do we need a right winger? Why don't Marcel sit there and say to himself, or, or people who are in Marcel's you know, group, sit there and say, well, let's actually understand. Let's ask Eric Ten Hag a question. Why are you failing with Anthony? Ain't he your number one player? Ain't that what you want? Isn't that your most crucial player? If he's not performing in the Premier League, why are you not spending more time with him? Why are you subbing him to use La Carrington? So who, who, who's got the better talent ID? Who's in your phone book? Who do you know that you can call for a player or take a player? Sir Alex Ferguson used to know every top talent in the world. His phone would ring off before anyone else's he would know. And Manchester United fans have the audacity to sit there and put Eric Ten Hag and Sir Alex Ferguson in the same fucking sentence. The audacity. He falls out with players he didn't bring. Eric Ten Hag, mark my words and clip this, will never, ever, ever win the same accolades as some of these managers that have uh, uh, been in Manchester United. It is impossible. If today you were to make a union of managers where five or six managers sit around a table, Eric Ten Hag will not get through the door. It is impossible. These trophies that you lot talk about, you lot talk about Arteta this, Arteta that time this. Funny enough, the son, Kronke, when he, when he took charge, they brought in their own people. They brought in their own manager and Arteta was part of that regime. I'm glad Ineos can come in, bring in their own people, bring in their own manager, because then we can judge Ineos based on what they do from a full scratch. This man does not deserve my love. No, no manager deserves my love. You are supposed to win it. You're supposed to earn your Just love. To earn it, yeah. mm. You have to show uh, yeah, me when things fact. go wrong. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? God forbid, next season we might get injuries. Then what? 
Mm. And you lot want to do win percentage. Let me give Ugh. you a percentage. On a on any given match day, the percentage of players that are missing that are quote unquote Eric Ten Hag quality players are only 30% <laughs> or less. <laughs> yeah? 30% or <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But 30% yeah, yeah, yeah. or less. Luke Shaw, Lissandro Martinez, and maybe Rasmus Hoyland. Those are the only players that are missing on any given match day. You got your Kobe Minos. You got your Ganachos. My man brought in Amrabat and you had tacticals like Sir here who sat there and thought he's going to change our midfield. My man r- runs t- Big sideways side, man. now. He yeah, runs yeah, yeah, sideways. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Chill, it, it, chill. But it's okay. Cool. Saeed. Yeah, I mean. It, it is okay. Uh, you may have got that. The manager, I believe, man. I think it's out to the manager. Listen, I'll be no, honest no. with you. Saeed, let me Boy, tell you trap, something. That it clip, is, man. It is okay, Saeed, it is okay if you believed in them yeah, and yeah. you were positive. That's what you're supposed to do. You're a football fan. Yeah, yeah. You're not a scout. Mm. You're not. You're a football fan. You got behind the transaction and guess what? It didn't land. But you're mm. man enough and you're a football fan enough to sit there and say, man, them, I hold yeah, my yeah. hand up, yo. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 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 me- I mess up. Please forgive me. I he me- held, I he held up for a while, though. He, he yeah, tried to resist. Yeah, but, he, but even if that's the case, <laughs> the takeaway point is these managers have to earn 100%. the, the yeah. commitment from their fans. How you can back a manager here that has shown that he's a failure in so many different instances and not just a failure as a manager, Failure as a person, bruv. This player can't even hold a press conference. He's inept here in so many different ways, yeah? And the fact that you're still attached to your manager. Bro, that's crazy. I don't know how you can be attached to a manager that ain't done nothing, bro. Maybe, maybe I don't know your age, in it. Maybe it's your age, in it. But I, I grew up in a time where I only saw one manager at my football club for my whole life. So because of that, I can understand why you can be attached to a manager because he's done something. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't be attached to any other managers because I had a manager at my football club that was the manager throughout my whole entire life. Like, when I was born, he was already the manager. Do you know what I'm saying? So, and I had an attachment to him because he earned that through being successful and all of these memories. You ain't got no memories with Ten Hag to be attached to him, bro. So, I don't know where this codependency is coming from from United fans, bro. Like, all managers are disposable until they start doing some real stuff. All of it's them. Not just, it's, it's, not managers, sh- it's not just managers, by the way. It's players as well. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I am fully biased about, young players, I give them an opportunity. I don't... I, I don't. Even if they look trash, if they're not... I don't... I never... You will never hear me trash a young player because I'm a believer that, you know what, something clicks for players. And I've been there and I've seen it throughout my football experience that players who were called trash, all of a sudden something click and then boom, the rise... Goes. Go ahead. Yeah. Just, just quickly run. as well. You know how how, oh. how Ten Hag Innes say if they play where they play. I see this every day. They use oh. this thing if they play where they play. Well, hold this one as well. David Moyes left Manchester United has more European heritage than Eric Ten Hag. Jose Mourinho left. Jose David Moyes. Jose Mourinho. Uh, Eric Ten Hag, if I'm not mistaken, is one game away from matching Moyes' record. If I'm not mistaken, a couple of games away. One from loss. Match. Matching. One yeah, loss. One loss. Yeah, one, one loss, loss away. One loss right. away. <clears throat> David Moyes has more European heritage than a manager that you lot believe in. Die. You lot will die for. I'm glad. I'm glad you lot stick by that. Jose Mourinho. The same quote you lot use. If they play where they play, yeah, he does play with what players? With Roma. He took them to two European finals, back to back, yeah? yeah? And you lot crucified him. And guess what? When you crucified him, I crucified Jose Mourinho as well. So the energy is still the same. It is absolutely still the same. You want to blame structure? You want to blame players? I'm with you all of it. But when it comes to the manager, don't do baby boy caressing. Do not do baby boy <laughs> caressing. Because the main plain simple, yeah? Because the main plain simple is, is, is brattiness. That is all it is. It is brattiness. And what you guys are going to do when Eric leaves Manchester United and he does go to another club and he does win, you guys are going to come here and say, ah, look at, my, look at what you. he's doing. Mm. Look at, look at. And guess what? Good for him. Good for oh, him. Yeah. Can I just ask a question? Ask a question. Just oh, yeah. Go, go on, Leo. Go on. I was just going to say, go a rant any of the mandem, yeah? Do you think certain fans, like, because obviously we've had Neji on here saying four years regardless with no real, like, 
in my opinion, Sean Dyche be high enough. Earn, yeah, earning that four years. It's just like four years, any manager error. Do you yeah. think fans are still looking? <laughs> <laughs> there they are. You know what I mean? The disciples, man. Mm. But do you think that I certain fans in the are of that one. still in that? Because Fergie <laughs> yeah. was here for so long that they're in that <laughs> mindset of, I don't want to let somebody go because it could. I'm looking for another Fergie. Like, the, what the man think? Yeah. Like, people do say that, but also. Uh, you know what it is, yeah? We now live in a society right now where people are scared to have their own opinion. And it's like, a lot of these people's opinions, yeah, change as soon as somebody else's changes. There's always the one focal point. They're waiting for one person to say something so they can jump on the back because they don't want to be the first to make the mm -hmm. shout, innit? And this is what it is. A lot of these men are too scared, yeah, to say with chest that it's not working because maybe some of their friends on Twitter that they've never met in real life might get upset about it. Do you know what I mean? It's just, we live in a very, like, very, everyone's hive-minded these days. Like, everyone wants to kind of have the same opinion. And that's just all it is, bro, because it's very funny how as soon as certain people have an opinion, yeah, all of a sudden, everyone's so quick. It's just like it's cool to bash Marcus Rashford now, but when I, when I was saying he wasn't good enough in 2019, no. people were absolutely yeah, pelting me and now yeah. and now everyone is just like taking it taking the opportunity to kick the kid even when it's not necessary because it's the cool thing to do now and this is exactly what these guys do they wait until they're in the overwhelming majority and then they jump and that's what it is with a lot of these ten hog brothers they're just like you know what man's waiting until like there's no other option, and then I'm going to jump. But they've all had thoughts, blood. Do you know what I mean? How many times have you been here with Ty and he's sitting on that fence saying, oh, one more loss? We've been here. We've oh, been Ty, here. He's, oh one, he's day, one loss day, away, yeah. bro, which means you've already thought about Ty it. The worst. Ty is the Listen, with all respect, listen. Big <laughs> yeah. respect, but Ty is the worst. Ty is At Mr. least Fence. Benji and Marcel, yeah? He's Mr. They Fence. said their opinion. <laughs> but with, yeah. with, with Ty, yeah? And he'll speak for himself, but he sits on the fence. He says, you know what? I don't know about this manager, you know? But now one win. He's in there. He's in your face. <laughs> and he's giving nah, it to me. And I'm like, come on, Tyrone. You can't be doing that to me. Come on, Tyrone. No, but you can't really blame that because it's mat it's mat by match basis, isn't it? It's For me, it's about the fundamentals. Like it's the fundamental yeah. things about yeah. what manager is. It's the attributes a manager brings. And but Vaz, just to answer your question, yeah, I put my hands up. I said within six months, I was promising anybody we'll see good football. This guy's a coach. Because I saw the patterns, I saw the triangles, bro. I saw the patterns, I saw the overloads in the especially in the Champions League. I I, I didn't have a prescription to Airy Divisa. You know, what I mean I got family there, mm. but I didn't I didn't no, we watching watch that. that week. I was watching <laughs> the cup games. You know, what I mean I watched the finals yeah. between Final Ajax or whatever. But yeah, yeah. for me, it's about the fundamentals. The fundamentals and I was even behind him. And I said it on last week, innit? There are aspects of that. Leon asked the question. That there is an aspect of that the manager could turn because, like I said, like I said it last week, and I say it, it's only been three managers that we won a league, the league title. A Manchester United three now in all of our history, only three. So this idea that one manager being fully back, taking his time to sort all the out the to you know, sort out the club is part of it. That's in the conscience, like, and that's the aspect of it as well. For me, no word of a lie, I would take Manchester United finishing eleventh or twelfth, yeah. If I could see some good football, that's what Musa said. I'm telling said. you now. Same thing. Musa said. Yeah. Out, and I will argue with people like Saeed and people who are like, "Nah, I want, I want to win. I want to win trophies." I'm like, "Yo, <coughs> don't give me your no Europa League or yeah. the Cup okay. if I can't get to. I rather build to get to the Champions." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly, that's that's exactly that's what. what but the funny thing is, yeah, that's exactly Nerdin. what Silent Ferguson did, bro. They're yeah. going on like. Oh yeah, he finished exactly thirteenth in that, innit? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. exactly what he did, bro. He came into Nerdin. Manchester, said, "I'm going to sort out the scouting system." We're going to do all these things. He had Ryan Giggs cooking, like, re ready to make his debut. And he decided that, yo, we're going to put certain things in place that are going to pay dividends later down the line. But there was a plan in place, bro. But then you're getting these Man United fans saying to me that I'm not a real football fan yet yeah, if I'm compare if I'm complaining about performances. And the it's only the win. Who cares yeah. about the football? Who cares yeah. about the football, yeah? We just need to get results. So I'm supposed to ignore that we've got no game plan. Two I'm years in. Ignore that. I, I, There's I, nothing I, that's I, been put in place, <clears throat> nothing at all. I'm just supposed to ignore it because I'm not a real fan. If I'm not happy that we're winning, we're winning games by fluke. I, I see Nuridin, yeah. Nuridin's got proper PTSD. You know, it's, you know, it's, you know, this reminds me of you know, like 
Remember, remember the Tinder swindler when 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 when, when the woman was giving the account of what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, yeah, she's listen, replaying listen. it in her head, bro, as she's talking about it. Replaying her head. I, 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 the only the said, "Listen, I need to transfer the money, man. I, I got my enemies after me." <laughs> <laughs> I listen, yeah, man. Yeah, the big, yeah, yeah, man, the big, yeah, big, on, yeah. Rhino, Rhino, go they got the man them anyway. So we we'll love welcome big ourselves. Up, so listen. Rhino. Cool. Master, this is what I want to ask you, because you know me, I like to dissect what you're saying and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not even going to bring out the walk for you, so don't even worry about it. You're cool, yeah? Look, yeah, what I'm going to ask you, yeah, answer it truthfully and honestly, yeah? Firstly, re Faz respects you, but respect respect he respects you, but respectfully called you a brat, yeah? Do you feel like you're a brat? Do you feel like you're a Tenag brat? And nah. first... Answer, do you think you are and answer why you don't think you are? Because I know you're going to say you're not. And then, I'm yeah, and then no. we're going to load into where I'm, we're, we're going to see where we're going. You're going to see yeah, where I'm no. going with this. No, I can't let, I don't let people dictate my own narrative. So I, mm -hmm. I know what I am and, and, and words are, can, can never, ever hurt me or opinions of other humans can never, ever hurt me. They have their opinions. They must exercise them. So yeah. I'm, I'm definitely not a brat. The, the termination, the termination, the, 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 the term and the way of in which he used it, you have to re-articulate for me to understand like what requires the human to become a brat in his world. So uh, that's that's a never very I like, think clear point. Definitely, I think a delusion, del delusion is one attribute. On on what premise? Yeah. Do you get it? Because now we're just saying you get it, we're saying because brand, it's like words. it's like it's like someone sending you a video of your girlfriend doing something and you keep saying, nah, trust me, it's not that, yeah, man. Until not I that, see it yeah. myself, until I see it myself, it's not that. Bro, that's just You're a video. Like it that. could be doctored. It, oh, no, it's real, it, real. It, that that might not be her. You know what they use in man court when they say, oh, yeah. prove it's me. Like, I've seen yeah, man them say, bro, doubt, that's not me. That's you get me? Reasonable, yeah. So prove it's me. Yeah, was I wearing the house? What is it? Okay, okay. You're conflating this. You're conflating it outside of, now let's bring it back into footballology. Because you're conflating it too far away is what I want to get to. So where is it where the video has been shown to man and we're looking at it? Like, where does that fit into the Ten Hagology? Where does that fit into the man? It's very easy, It's very easy, Marcel. lost 11 Premier League games, bro. No, 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 no. You guys are uh, even go on, oh, hold on, hold on. Diamond. <laughs> Ericsson in a DM. <laughs> I don't need to tell you score lines because that's a flash score sofa score thing. When, so yeah, but first, yeah? So, I'm a, mean, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm a Diallo. Yeah. Casemiro He's... can't play football, more football. Varan passing lanes. Andre Onana, Champions oh. League. David De Gea is going to get a new contract. Thank you very much for your services. Marcus Rashford, China White. China White. Marcus Rashford, <laughs> Ireland. Jaden Sancho, training levels. Oh, Anthony, yeah, suspended. Ericsson, crying for minutes. Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay, pimp my ride. <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> I have plenty, Marcel. No, Faz, man. So, Marcel, let me yeah, hear your no, response no, no, no. to that, yeah? And can I say one thing? While you're responding, <laughs> I want you to use your response like you are 10, you, you manage 10 Hag. Everything that you do is coming out of your pocket, yeah? So, last season, when 10 Hag was doing the little bits and pieces, you get money. Every time Ten Hag does something good, you get money. Every time Ten Hag something yeah. does bad, you lose money. So we're, we're going to use that principle. Yeah. So yeah. now, answer. So now, answer Faz's question. I want to ask yeah, you so, something. So what, what he done though, uh, Rhino, was he just mentioned players like Harry Maguire, yeah. who who our manager said was surplus to requirements last season. We're in a process and we're dealing with Ed Woodwardness, something that structure would understand as well, where you cannot just, it's not FIFA. Okay. So the player has an element where he's decided to stay on and then there's an element of we can't get rid of him because no one wants to pay those wages. Ericsson, again, the fact that Manchester United are having players on a free, that's that's an issue within itself that, again, Ten Hag's nah, inherited. Nah. 
Let him answer, man. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He's by himself. Let him go. Let him go. Let him land. Let him land. Trap. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land. Bro, he didn't inherit Ericsson. No, no, no. I'm saying, no, no. I'm no. Now, traps. Let him land for one second. Let him land. Let him land. Let you go. I know what you mean. I know you're ready. Let me just address that, bro. No, no, no. Yeah, let him land. Traps is saying, nah, let me at him. Let me at him. Nah, traps. You take note. No, no, hold on. You guys are doing the hyena thing. I beg you not to stop. I need to know. That's what I want to give you. What do you mean by a player being on a free? What do you mean by that? Oh, okay, yeah, because because that because it, yeah. it sounded like you got it mistaken as well, Rance. Because you said I'm saying the fact that he's had to go into the market and go for free players. He didn't. Have that's to an issue. Why can't him, why can't he? Why didn't why didn't Ten Hag get the option to spend a fifty million pound player for the midfield? A fifty million plan here. Is he burnt 50, the money 50, on Anthony? 50. Hold on, yeah. hold on. That's hold on, guys. Please. That's what the top play the top clubs are doing right now. Every season, or or let's just let's just reference it. Call a spade a spade. That's what City are able to do right now. Our neighbours, they every season they're able to go and get the best. They're not going for free players. Bro, we spent Whereas more to money get the than technical them. baller the, to get the technical baller in the first season. But we spent we more money than them. Better. We had to go and get Marcel Sabitzer. We had to go and get. But Wengers. we spent more money than them. Yeah, we spent more money than them, Marcel. And we real. bought positions you, we didn't Because I'm, I'm talking, and you lot are not like I'm talking. Over. The money that you're saying that we didn't have, Ten Hag did have, and he overspent. Yeah, he so it's his fault yeah. that we didn't get to that. Window. We have to get free players yeah. off in the end. Basically, he set Marcel, himself up for that. You do that realize four hundred million is eight. Eight 50 million pound players. <laughs> yeah. 50 million pound players, bro. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight. We've overspent. Yeah, yeah. I spent 60 on Mount, bro. bro. So, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. This, this, is, this is my point, yeah. This is why this season I've not been to one game. This is why I've not bought the kit. Yeah, because it's all this overspending that he's doing. Who you want a McTominay kit, he said. Bro? You're buying a McTominay kit, he said. Oh, yeah, the minus of McTominay kit. Oh, he overspent. <laughs> bro, no, 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 no. Yeah. You're talking about 50 million pound players, but you're talking about players being free. That's a lot of nonsense because Lewandowski never cost a penny in his, in, in his life. Messi never cost nothing either. So, so oh, yeah. at the end of the what, day, it's, what it about, the wages. it's about what you're doing or, 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 or the money that you're, you're spending, even if it's free, it's about who you get in. So if you want yeah, this yeah. guy, bearing in mind he wanted Ericsson, why are we not holding him accountable? You no, can't be but- I'm, I'm again. I, I only get to talk. I only get to talk on certain elements of it before you cut me. And then you, yeah, let him land. Let him land. Then you're brandishing the whole thing. We have to be yeah, Marcel, you land. I'm going to ask you my final question so we can just get straight to the point. And you're brandishing me for the whole thing, traps. But I understand that the overspent. He's hyenas too. Hyenas too. Hyenas too. Traps. I always used to say this to Said as well. By the way, there's a percentage that you have to throw on it. I don't think you can give all the accountability for the 400 million on Ten Hag like this. I agree with that. I agree with that. There's people, there's humans that 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 say this is the price, or or there's you know Manchester United people that have been incompetent for many a year traps as well. So you have to understand there's an element of of this of of, uh, of percentage of blame distributed elsewhere. I'm not saying that he's not completely accountable. Also, uh, to bring back this bratty thing that you're claiming, and by the way, we're making it famous, Rhino, and that's not my business. I don't I don't like to make these kind of other humans claiming things on my name, I don't like to make it famous. You've already seen it with other people. But but anyway, just on that bratty side of things, it, like, I can't, I've lost my trail of thought a little bit, but it's like, you can't, uh, with with Ten Hag, I've, I've said that the talent ID is poor right now. That's what I was about to say. Because a part of the bratty thing is the talent ID. And I'm, I've always said that. The talent ID is poor. I think Rance was also mentioning people, you know, overly obsessed with Ten Hagism. I am to a degree, but I've also said to to to, to Saeed that listen, I yeah, understand the realities. I understand yeah, yeah. the realities very, very well, very, extremely well. So, yeah, but what is it based kind of, off? So, though? what is it based yeah, off? Yeah, that's what I was gonna. Uh, yeah, what has he what? done to show you that you're that so he's the in guy? Your what soul, has yeah. he shown you? Because he hasn't shown us more than any manager um, this is before strong. him. Strongly he hasn't disagree. shown us more than Jose shown us. He hasn't shown us more than Bengal shown us. He hasn't shown us more than any of these men have shown us. Only what you could say, Oli, who wasn't really a manager anyway, bruv. That brand was a Cardiff manager and whatever. Like he's no one. He didn't come from Ajax. No, nah, I hear you, Rant. I hear you, Rance. But for me, the other managers, Mourinho wasn't playing front foot style of football, bro. And what I mean by that, what's front is... foot? Because you've said this yeah. loads of times. Explain to me what front foot is. 
because we don't, don't keep the ball. So how do you play on the front foot without the football? Okay, well, okay, well, now you're asking me two different questions. There, you've asked me with a condition, and then you've asked me a terminology. So no, no there was a... no condition. I just I stated the fact. How can you football? play on the front foot without the ball? You can't. You anyway, said, well, that's what the is front football football to you? What what do you yeah, call? Well, that's the condition, football? bro. Because at all times. elements of a football match, you're gonna be there's gonna be periods where you don't have a football and when you have a football. So you added the condition there, and then on top of that, how do you, you play on the front, front foot football? without the ball? I can tell. My pardon. How do you play front foot football? You, like you can play front foot football without explain the football to me what by is, having the high block. To me, explain to me what front foot football is in your opinion. Yeah, so because you've used firstly, that terminology multiple times. Yeah, so so firstly, for me, front foot football will be playing from the halfway line. It's usually it, but you can play in any parts of the football pitch. So Ten Hag's talking about a low block and being proactive. So, so getting out to footballers early, closing down angles, that's being front foot, making the challenge first instead of jockeying or having you the You said on the up. halfway line, does someone want to show him the Liverpool picture? We don't play in the halfway line, yeah. No, you don't so play in the halfway I'm line. Not... I know okay, what you're trying I'm... to say, Marcel, but the reality... No, is but again, play. again, Leon, it's, again, you, you keep saying... That's that's a condition where you're saying, okay, we, we don't play on the... We don't play the halfway line. What, that's do you mean the vision of No, 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 you do. mentioned the halfway yeah, line, no one else. Person. That's he why I asked... What the term is, Leon. He's asked me what the term is. So the term is to play from the halfway line, one. But we don't play from if the halfway you, line. If you're, so looking at, if you're looking at the Liverpool... If you're looking at the Liverpool game in particular, because I think I did see that clip, Rance, where you've shown that, the, like, the whole squad's basically on the halfway line and there's only two lines. I've seen that as well, but that's you can Would implement you that, that front a, foot. I'm just, I'm just about to say you can implement that exact same style, but in a front foot manner. If the if the two lines are pressing, I don't think it was two lines that we operated in because we do have a forward line rant. I know you guys were doing it as a joke, but there definitely is three lines in there, bro. Are they were, were serious? Like, I don't know about me joking. I don't. I can't remember serious. exactly how it happened, Saeed, yeah. but I just I just saw a lot of laughing and two lines that don't make no match to me. There was three lines. But the, but, the, but the fact that it's positioned in that kind of way, you can still have the opposite. You can still you can still march up to players, um, uh, rants or squeeze all the free lines like a siege mentality up the pitch to be front foot to try and win the ball. I know, that's but that's how Tottenham play. But we, we don't play like that. Tottenham play on the halfway line and they press. That that yeah. is front foot football. That's so, exactly what Tottenham play, and that's why. People say when it doesn't work, it can look crazy. Front foot football is high Bielsa. risk, man high for risk. man, high, high risk. risk. Everyone yeah. goes yeah. high risk, high How reward. We if it doesn't Villa. work, you get smoked. Yeah, yeah, Same with true. Brighton. They Second play night. front foot Bielsa. football. That's Ten why they can get smoked <laughs> four nil. Rants, rants. Ten Hag one four three against Liverpool, implementing a, 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 an element of it. And he lost against Fulham, and he lost against Fulham at home. Rants trying to play it, but like what. Uh, the reason why I wanted to come in when Structure was talking is because I believe, Rant, player profiles, and your manager said it as well, Ten August said it, influences the way you can implement football. If you've got a load of dead footballers, you can't implement front foot football, bro. You're not going to be able to press for 90 minutes, Rant. You're not going to be able to sustain what you're trying to do. That's what you're seeing right now. That's what you're seeing right now. As a uh, nerd, nerd as well, by the way, bro. Your son, job as a manager, listen, so how come right Andrew do it? Do you think that the Spurs players with Emerson Royale and what's that kid called? Davis. I always forget his name. Davis. Hoiberg and Gip. Davis, Hoiberg and Skip. Yeah, and Skip. They played, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip. They played and centre backs of Davis yeah, yeah. and um, the Brazilian guy. Emerson. Even Richardson. And the Welsh no, kid. No. And, 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 and listen, and the Welsh kid, right? So yeah. you're Davis, Manchester... Davis. Yeah, Davis. Uh, no, I know what you're going to say. Skip. I know what you're going to say, Nerd, and sorry to cut you because because people keep adding the footballers to it. But I told Saeed a couple shows ago that uh, Spurs have a better squad than us. They do. We said it already. I've already said this to Saeed. Uh, we, they have a better squad than us. So yeah. when we're talking uh, about... I want to say better squad. I want to say better squad. Maybe 11. They have a better squad as a whole. No way. Maybe 11. 11. 11 maybe. Okay, but we already established... Hold on. 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 Hold I already st I already said this uh, structure though. Like in terms of implementing a style of football, especially when we're coming to front foot football, we've been playing counter attacking football for the last ten years, Nerdin. So you know, having those players, yes, Van Gogh had to teach certain things, but he didn't achieve anything trying to teach these players. And by the way, he was in a rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. It was a load of old world class players, and then he had a load of youth players to deal with. So again, different circumstances. But for, yeah, he was for, in a proper right rebuild, now, and we are playing possession football. Say that again, Rance. Real we talk. were we were in That's a proper nice. rebuild. He was we were playing possession football. We weren't going out, yeah, and spending four hundred million and complaining he didn't have his players. He said, "If I can't get certain man, I'm gonna work with these kids here, yeah. and we're gonna do it." 
And that's yeah. what he done. He actually uh. coached. This manager spent 400 million, brought in his profile of players to play front foot football, got rid of Fred, yeah? He's one of the most pressing, flipping robots I've ever Perfect seen in my life, system. yeah? To bring in Amrabat and a Mason Mount, bro, which made no sense. This manager has hung himself with the guys he's brought in. 80 million on Anthony. You can shake your head, but Anthony is no, no, suited, suited to possession football. Anthony is not... Um, yeah. he's not a counter-attacking demon like the players that Klopp would sign. So yeah. why are you trying to play some diet Klopp football here with Anthony? Again, again, I, I hear you, bro. And, and that's why I'm not the language that all the terminology that Rhino wants to popularise and, and that Faz has mentioned. Because I didn't, I understood the talent that he's poor. You know, but why are you but, standing by, the way, by this, by this way, guy man, when no, you know way, that man, he's dying, bro? No, but oh, no, he's not dying because Rance, other, other great managers have made these mistakes with games players as well. League, Nelito, Nelito was a poor purchase for, for, for Pep, you know. And um, he left him off the same season. Yep, yeah, okay. And, we'll, and the season's not, uh, hold on, hold on. I hear that. I do hear that rant. But the yeah, season's yeah. not finished one. And Anthony's been doing things right now with the season two. And there's 10 more games to go free. So let's let's wait to see what happens there. What's going to happen situation. in these 10 games? Well, listen, well, in terms of say this. Listen, 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 let me just come in there just on that point about pe comparing City. Manchester United and Man City are totally too different. At the end of the day, when a club backs the manager fully, when a manager makes mistakes in, in a transfer... It's about how much you can cover up for those mistakes as a, as a team, as a football structure. Manchester mm -hmm. United have not had that. I agree with you, um, Marcel, in terms of the football that we play, the types of football we play. For me, he wanted to get rid of Maguire. He wanted to get rid of Scott McTominay. The club couldn't move these guys. Like I said, I am not coming on here and saying everything that's happening is on Eric Ten Hag. We, I know m most of us know how effed up this football club is, how yeah. rotten it is. How it is, mm. but I'm saying all of this. I'm sorry, Everton. I'm in the stadium. I'm there. I'm sat there. We get two fluky uh, penalties, and then where I were getting bopped, and guess who's controlling the fucking tempo on the yeah, other team? No. Guess who's no. doing it? The kid that I've been watching through all the years in our youth team. And what does he do? Him and fucking Murta let him go to Everton, and what happens? And he's dictating play. Against us, Sean Dice popping Manchester United off the park at Old Trafford. How am I just... watching that? That's why he needs to go. That's why Ten Hag needs to and go. Too many I'm managers not getting dunked on. I'm not getting dunked on by Sean Dice. Mm. I don't give a fuck about the result. I'm looking at the football and what I see with my own eyes. <laughs> no, I, 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 I knew it. Marcel, Marcel, do you know what, Marcel, do you know what you're going to say? I know what you're going to say. Your Please. reality, Marcel, <laughs> I think here. Yeah, do you know what I think, guys? Marcel just is st stuck on the point that he just feels like these players are not good enough. Well, hey, I think that's yeah, his narrative. Hey. He's saying that we over... So you're thinking Rashford, Bruno, everyone we've got is generally not good enough. So that's what you're going to fall back on, isn't it? That these players well, are not good enough and we have to come to reality. That's what you're saying. Back to life, back to reality. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that we need to yeah. just realise that these players are not good enough. Yeah, and, and with that, that game's quite interesting though, Nerdin, because I think we created the better chances from that kind of counter-attacking standpoint. We, he, he, he deliberately against tried Everton. to... We can't be counter-attacking against Everton, Marcel, bro. We yeah, can't be doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but he, for some reason, and I don't even know what the squad or the 11 was, but he mentioned it. He deliberately deployed us in a way to counter-attack because he knew that they, were gonna, they weren't going to respect us and they were going to set up with the high block coming at us. And, and usually, and once we got our dividends and our opportunities from it, Nerdin, then he started, then the game opened up a little bit more and it was a little bit, but yeah, they were, they were dominant and, but we had the better counter-attacking opportunities and the, and the more critical chances on goal. That, that was the reality of the game, Nerdin. That was, that's what's happened. That's why we still right, winning. Cool. Let me ask my final question after Nerdin. Let me say this to you. I could take it, Everton pushing into the top six, top seven. I could take it if they're even around 10th. This is team that relegation for them. That have not won in 11 something games or whatever before they come to Old Trafford. And they bopped us off that part, bro. It's like we were taken to 1920s. Jazz, you know, when he grabbed the girl. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> when you danced all over the place, that's what happened. That's what I saw. And Man's I said, Great Gatsby. You know, you know what crazy. I thought? I'm not going to see. You know what it's like to get out of Old Trafford without traffic? I thought, you know what? See you later. I'm done out here. I'm gone. So the reason why I'm saying it's relegation for that, I'm never accepting it. I'm not accepting it. I'm, I was moaning when Fergie did it at times when we were when he was playing Phil when he was playing remember Phil Jones and these type of brethren and, and the twinnies. 
in, in midfield. I was never taking it then. I'm never going to take it. And that's the greatest manager in my mm. lifetime. Like, 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 like. You, you, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, I, like, right? I wasn't taking it then. And I'm not going to take it with Ten Hag, who's not won me a league. Who's not who took me to a Champions League final even. I am One. not taking it. I am never taking it from any manager. I'm not having relegations for that. Bump me around that park. I'm yep. not. I go there to go and pay money to go and watch my team. And I'm not having it. And I'm not having a Ghana. Ghana, the guy that we sold, well, we keep Matt Tomine. And I know that's not all on Ten Hag, but he could have said, nah, for, put his foot down and said, no, the football I want to play, the type of control that I want to have, Ghana's more suited than Matt Tomine. But no, he was like, ah, he, he got injured. He didn't get his chance. You know, with it, I didn't see him. And he okayed it. He's come out of his own mouth and said, any players that leave Manchester United, he's got a veto, right? Yep. Right? That's why he said, and any player that comes into Manchester United, he's got a veto. Now, I understand. I understand the nuance of the conversation. I understand Manchester United is a super complicated, absolutely trash of a football club. So I understand I can't blame him for everything. And I agree with you on that. And I will, I will take that with you to against anybody. But I'm sorry. When I'm seeing relegation fodder, Bopping me around this football pitch, I am not having it. I'm never accepting it. You got nothing in the credit. And when everybody was celebrating that Mickey Mouse League Cup, I was like, miss me out with this. I'm asked about the football. And the guy that I thought, everything I watched, and I repeat again, that I was going to get triangles football, triangle football, I didn't. Instead, I've got counter attack. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not accepting it and I will never accept it. No, yeah, no, 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 we are no, playing no, no, we're still hey, playing no, on no, a no, counter-attack. No, a man are trying to say this front foot football. We're playing yeah. counter-attacking. We're playing counter-attacking. Yeah. 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 Also, what you've got to say though. One thing, yeah, one thing on that. So so it was against Everton, but we suffered that way. When we tried to play front foot or high high press against Fulham, we lost. And then against Bournemouth, we've lost. So that's why I that's why I say to you, Nuradin, it's, it's about the player profiles implementing this style of football. We get to us, we get to a stage where those profile players can't play the style of football. Against Burnley away, we had to play conservative or counter attack, like Rance mentioned. Within the process, that's why if you remember what Oli was talking about in that um, in that Sky Sports thing that he does, he talks about taking the next step. That taking the next step, Nuradin, is being able to play front foot football in the opposition's half. Or and and step and control games and 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 what well, all the previous managers have done that from a standpoint of let's do the counter attack football first let's win some games get into the position get you know come by my lord then get the world class players and then push them high up into the halfway okay. line. How come Fulham can do it? Are you going to tell me that Fulham have got a better players than us? Exactly. How come Fulham do it at their ground and, and man at everybody? Arsenal Luton. that they manage Luton just, they manage Luton. every team, all the top teams. Right, right. How come they can do it and we can't do it? I'm Sorry, master. I no, can't I can answer. I can't but this answer. is why I do I not blame the players, bro. Even mm. saying I can that answer those have better players than well, us. Is this Rancy says he's got answer. He says he's got answer. <laughs> Let me answer it's, though, <laughs> it's not, bro. It's not, bro. So, so firstly, you see, with Fulham, you see, when, when, especially when I'm talking about that game, the the, the ambition to play counter attacking football against us, uh, uh, Nuradin, I think is an easier task. Oppositions that play against us, when we have, when our demand is to play front foot, or when we're the superior team, Nuradin, their job to just stay in their half and attack our space in behind is an easier job. Or especially with our squad of players, is an easier job for them than our squad of players, our eleven players playing in their half, trying to sustain attacks and break down banks of four. The player profiles that Manchester United have right now are not going to be good enough to do that. Break down those banks of four, so then they can't keep the ball, and then the weaker team, the inferior team, Fulham or whoever you want to mention. Their job is just to attack the space in behind against a weak defensive line that can't play on the halfway line, mm. can't play front foot football. There's a hu there's a huge there. issue there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now let me let me let me let me come back in there just quickly, just quickly, fast. Sorry, I just say this right. What your your I think your one thing about Neji that I love about Neji, he actually specifies. You're telling me, man. So, do you want Manchester United, a squad that we've got, Eric Ten Hag can't put out 11, can't do a preparation work in the week leading up to a game, five days on the training ground, and can't get a shape of a team that can play the front foot way, keep possession of the ball, and when the other team try to counter-attack, because I set the trap for us, because Fulham, they set traps when they counter-attack where to win the ball. You're mm -hmm. telling me that they can't... 
Manchester United cannot play the offsets of the high level coach that he is and the high le- and in our squad of what 20 or 21, he can't pick an 11. I'm sorry, I refute that. Now, the point is different that what Neji says, I'm big up to Neji, he says, Nuruddin, it's the prayer profile. Now, certain managers can coach, right? They can coach, mm. they can coach any dead baller. Yeah. You know what? I want to I, I want to remind people, um. The Danish brother, you know, he was a twin. Brian Laudrup. So Michael, Michael Laudrup. Yeah, Michael Laudrup. Michael Laudrup. Yeah. The game, Swansea. Swansea, mm-hmm. yeah, playing. He was doing bits. Balls, bought them up. Brent, they play the same way with Gallas, who they face, right? He, those level of players from the championship, Bielsa, right? When I see this 3 1 6 sell, we're so lopsided. It takes one ball to dislodge that. I'm sorry. All that shows me, Marcel, is that Eric Tanag with the players, with his coaches, have not done the work on the training ground because you get the youth team on the 18th and you run that play. You run that play. So this is the examples. You see how the opposition set traps for the for, for the games that we can see on. You show them on the screen, first of all. Then you show them on the pitch and go, this is what they do. These are the traps. We're not going to be so lopsided, guys. We're going to squeeze when we all squeeze. We're not going to have headless chickens like fucking Bruno and Rashford and the rest of them doing a shadow fucking pressing. I called it shadow pressing. It's not pressing. It's that you're pressing your own shadow. Go go and walk somewhere in a sunny day. People try and jump my kids. <laughs> kids talk with their kids do that. Kids used to play a game. No. You know what? Let me, no, have I not, have have I not been saying all this? There's nothing. Every time I watch a Manchester United game, there's nothing that you can copy and paste into another game. Exactly. Against no a different competition. Yeah. Mm. They do not look like a coach team. And this was a man that was brought in under the guise of being a coach. We all got twanged into believing that we were going to see some proper Ajax football, yeah. bro. Proper. That's why I fully backed this manager like I've backed no other managers because yeah. I thought Same. I was going to see... Same. Uh, Football that I saw at Ajax, yeah, and then I came to realize that it was the players We're built and it different, had nothing to do with him. Uh, not me, boy. And you know what it is, Marcel? Like, <laughs> bro, I'll be real, yeah. Not me, boy. You, you should be a politician, bro. And I mean that in the most respectful way, because, bro, <laughs> nah, bro, you are the mo- you. If I've nah, ever nah, seen nah. someone that can eloquently say absolutely, nah, that's Tyrone, man. You, that's Tyrone. It's no, not no, no, no. Listen, Marcel. I don't speak as well as Marcel. Marcel is a politician because, bro, I'm just seeing alphabet stupid. <laughs> he said bare things and he said absolutely nothing, but he said it so well here, yeah. <laughs> bro. If you're not listening, you'll really think he said uh, something. Yeah. Let, 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 let me out. appreciate you. Fine, bro. Let, let, I appreciate let, you, bro. Let me just say something. Let me just say something. You know, yeah, yeah. Go on. I'm gonna be about to. No, no. Yeah, there is a specific reason why I said Ten Hag in as a brat. It's because you see wrong, yet you think he does right. It's the same fans that when the individual players have individual brilliance and get individual goals, you lot will say Eric Ten Hag implemented oh, something mate, for it to happen. One, and know. it is sick. It, it is actually oh. sickening. At the when, Liverpool game, they that thought was that it was horrible. Tactic, yeah. And really, oh. we just wanted it more than them. And... Yeah. Ahmad took his I shot. brought Ahmad on yeah. and I told him to do we, that. Oh, give we, me a break. So we play front foot, but actually we won the ball back when we were defending and counted and ended up winning the game. <laughs> when he gave Ahmad Diallo, here you go, minutes. When Diego Dallo gave him that goal from outside the box and we got three points, was that implemented from him? When Bruno Fernandes scored that one goal, what was it? Fulham's yeah, or something, Fulham, if I'm yeah. mistaken. Yeah. Fulham was that him? Yeah. Was that man implemented? Burning. Yeah. Um, when Scott McTominay gets this crashing bang goals, what, yeah, are these implemented? Yeah. You can't tell me, Marcel. Dead. <laughs> even even if you might have had a star in GCSE English or whatever, I'm not having it. You tell me that Manchester United practiced some of these goals <laughs> on the training pitch. It is not. It is impossible because at mm. times I am seeing Harry Maguire having shots on goals, and you cannot tell me that that. That is football that Manchester United want to play or practice on the pitch. The Another reason why I call you guys brats is you were the same fan base that said, give this manager one game a week. Wait till he has one game a yeah. week and see what he does. Oh, yeah. Wait Real. till he... Wait till he has 72, 40. You lot complained about game time last season. You lot say we played too many games last season. Now, all of a sudden, we don't play enough games, but hey, oh, we don't have the players. Hey, I did tell him, I said that at Nuru did. I said, I said, even if you play, don't have, if you what? have one game, he's still going to say the play the same way. But on, yeah, go on, ahead. 
on caliber to caliber basis. You can't all of a sudden now Fulham's players are better than us. Bournemouth's players are better than us. Mm. Appa- Do you know how many managers John McGinn played under? Apparently, John McGinn is now better than some of our players. Every player in every club is better than our players. But when these players have individual brilliance, hey, is is Eric Ten Hag? He lies to you on press conference. I have never heard Sir Alex mm. Ferguson throw Manchester United staff members under the bus. This man threw the medical team under the bus. That is what he did. He was the one. Ah. He's the, he. The box stops with one person at the end of the day. You lot threw Myrtle and Arnold under the bus anyways. And just as much as me, but Myrtle and Arnold did try and make your Arnatovic deal, which got pulled. Did try and make the Rabio deal, which got pulled. When, when Eric Ten Hag was making late night phone calls to Frankie de Jong, Frankie de Jong was singing to him, I'm just saying you can do better. And what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Casemiro was not someone that Eric Ten Hag looked at. Casemiro was someone that Manchester United looked at. Mm. You, you fan base were the ones that were saying Ericsson worked with uh, Eric Ten Hag in Ajax, remember? He went to train with Ajax, remember? He worked with Amrabat in Utrecht. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. what, cha- what channel do you watch Utrecht in? Can someone tell me? Because, hey, yo, I ain't seen no Utrecht football. I, I ain't seen no Utrecht football. Via play too. Yeah, you guys have a justification for everything. And you know what that is? That is called being a brat. Do you, do you know what? Yeah, can I just say something? You know, you know yeah, yeah that's two points. Do you know what I've talked about these men as well, yeah? Bro, they will look through the whole Premier League and they'll say, oh, they'll be like, oh, this one's cooking. That one's cooking. Like, we, that player's better than this player. That player's better than what, what we've got. And then a player like that will show up at United not get coached, play shit, and they'll be like, he's not United level. He's not United yeah. level, no? Oh, he's not yeah. United level. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, the key thing for me, yeah, that I looked at, because I remember so years ago, yeah, them. I remember years ago, yeah. I went and watched, I went and watched um, Newcastle United, yeah, when LVG was in charge, and they were just passing it side to side for the whole game, and I was like, bro, that coming like a flipping training session, bro, I don't know what was going on there. It was. It was a training session. He's like, if you men are going to learn how to play this football, whether it's on the pitch or in the train on the training ground. But for me, the biggest thing that I noticed with Ten Hag, yeah, what I don't get, yeah, this is this is the this is the bit I don't get, and this is why people talk about the money that he spent, yeah, because the seventy the seventy million that he spent for Rasmus Hoyland now, for me, I, obviously Rasmus Hoyland could come on to go on to be a great goal scorer. I don't know, but obviously for me, I think he's a decent player. By the end of the day, you spent seventy million pounds on on that on on this striker. You got the two wingers. For me, this guy does not score goals where he is supplied by the wingers. He doesn't score any goals where he's supplied by the wingers. So how can you turn around and tell me that this man is not sitting in a, 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 a changing room and saying, "I paid seventy million for this fucking guy for him to score goals"? Find this guy. Yeah, supplying. Why is that not? Like, it's, that's yeah. a big. That is Thanks. basic. Yeah, basic instruction. You are a winger. If you, if always look for your number nine. If you're a winger, if you can get him in, or you can get him behind, or you can get create a chance. Bro, with him, Alec Ferguson so told yeah, that, told Wayne Rooney, if you don't find Van Persie, you're not playing. Exactly. He Especially told him. when we need That's goals as well. We're how lacking you, goals. How can, big you, how, can, yeah. how can you not be accountable yeah. for spending seven oh, million? Oh, traps! No, 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 no. Tra- hold on, traps! Traps, my brother. Don't forget, don't forget. When Anthony came into Manchester United, they said that Anthony needed a competent fullback. When Anthony came into Manchester United, they said he needed a Halle or he needed some sort of, you know, a striker to be in the middle so that he can find him, he can link up with. The Anthony player in himself, yeah, and I hate to do this, is a sackable offence. How dare Manchester United fans request for Olise? How dare you? How dare you? We get, we did everything... (laughs) We did everything that this manager wanted. Chance, Ma- our manager, yeah. Uh, yeah, let you get to the super chats. Our manager backing isn't bringing in players. It's also letting mm. players go. It is yeah. also letting players go. 100%. Our manager backing isn't 100%. buying players. It is also letting academy players come in. Everything that has gone right for Eric Ten Hag has been done by Manchester United and not Eric Ten Hag himself. And I'll tell you one last point, yeah? Eric Ten Hag owes this season to Jose Mourinho. 
Because mm. Jose's boy, Scott McTominay, he gave him the award. Remember the award Jose gave to Scott McTominay? An award that didn't even exist. <laughs> oh, yeah? Scott Jose, Marini, Jose Mourinho was there the two one. Scott McTominay lovers, by the way. These no, are the I two am guys. as well. I am as, I'm a moment person this. and I'm proud. I'm proud <laughs> to be a moment person. Moment and moment. on top of that, Jose Mourinho was the one that Shameless. bought in Diego Dallo. Yeah? He was the one that bought in Diego Dallo. And those were the two players that are saving this guy's season. Mm. Not your Bruno, not your Rashford, not nobody else. Not even listen, your Onana. Listen, man, mm. I'll say this. I was at that game, Crystal Palace. First time I ever walked out was the first time I was on the Jose. Every time I ever walked out of the stadium was on the Jose. Scott McTominay, the whole of Anna Stratford end, we're all like, come on, come on. Scott McTominay stopped, put his foot on the ball and passed backwards. Jose in the sack clapped him. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Clapped yeah. him. And I Just was great. like, Miss yeah. me out with this football. Just but quickly before you come inside, just really quick, because Marcel, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of us, obviously, we have opposite views to what you're doing. Look, you're entitled to your own view as a fan of what you see and you say progress and stuff like that. That's just your entitled view and stuff, like, even if we don't agree. Um, we all wanted it to work. Like, you've got Mandem in here, like, um, Nuruddin watched him, Said watched him, Rance made T-shirts, and that's not a dig at Rance, but we really believed that this was the guy to change. He came in and he spoke well. Yeah. He was actually adaptable for the first four or five games. He really made decisions that I thought, okay, right, this guy's really on it, yeah. But it's just hard, bro, because, like, we value the club way above any manager. And at the end of the day, it's like we – some of us have to hold a standard of where this club is because I will stand by what I say. And I'm not just saying this because he was linked to the club the other day. Gary O'Neill comes into this club right now coaches us and with the way the league fluctuates yeah we get the top four comfortably you see a lot more goals you see a better style of football and we can actually look at it and actually understand what's going on because right now we've got obviously you feel like you've got a level of understanding of what the manager's doing you're I would say you're the minority and I'm not saying you have to be either side or whatever that's your view yeah but I think most of us don't really have a clue what's going on and when it's a mess like that bro like it's hard for us to be like trust the process, go with the project, hang on to him for a few more years because we don't see the patterns of how we're going to get to the success. And it's almost mm -hmm. just like, it's kind of what Rand said, like, obviously I'm not going to call you a politician, but I'm saying like, it's like, we don't really, when people explain it to us, like even Neji, I don't get it. I really don't understand. Like, because what you're saying doesn't correlate to what I'm watching on the pitch, innit? But I respect your opinion, hopefully. I just think, I'll be honest with you, Brian, with this year, I just think football's changed. I think I think Rance again hit the nail on the head. The average span of a manager is like 14 months. I don't think we have to hold on to guys. I think we flip until we get it right. I think the club Let's puts the structure together. Flipping. I think we just keep changing until we get it right, to be honest. Because somebody will say people this. get a super oh, yeah. chat. I'm going to read a super chat. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. yeah. read a super oh, chat. Big up to everyone locked in. 2.4K in the building. It's been a good show, man. Make sure you don't hit the like button. We need at least 1,000 likes. We're not far off it. Hit the like button. We've got to quickly discuss Onano uh, before we wrap up. Big up Ogoresa. Big up all. You need to create a room for people with different opinion because that makes us different. Hopefully, allow people to make their point. Absolutely. That's what we're here for, man. We're, we're having a debate. You feel me? Dilly says, big up for bringing on different people with different opinions. Oh, big up mm. to you, bro. Uh, big up to Josh. He says, I hear what you're saying. We don't deserve US Champions League football, but we need that money and it's a platform for idiots to get the work done in the summer. Uh, big up Brian. says, manager job is to improve his players. The value of his best players have dropped. The club heritage is a selling factor for your players. Um, your average KJ says, what we saw at Ajax isn't Ten Hag's playing style. It was just Ajax DNA carrying the team. Big up Makai says Ineos won best in class, or is it Ericsson Hag near it? What does he, where does he rank in Europe? Also, how can man be Glazers out and Ericsson Hag in? This man is a Glazer appointment. Uh, Big Ben says, Marcel, to be fair, you don't have any points for anything. 16 losses in total, bad man management, no style of play. Where do you draw the line? No standards at all. Big up knowledge says it's because they think every manager could be Fergie, so they blindly back them in hopes it works out. Uh, big up Regen says people forget Fergie won a European Cup with Aberdeen. He had pedigree. I uh, big up to Chuma man says big up Said and man them always buy special shout out to my man Rance. One love my people. Come on, bro. Big up man. Big up to Brian says ten hard caramel cup syrup is good with waffle. Addictive. <laughs> Marcel, you go, bro. Take on Eric and Hart. I was in the panel. Big up Amino. Uh, big up to Killis, always, man. Eric Ten Hag, time, Eric Ten Times, concuss. If a player is treated well, he's falling out with others. How are players with little opportunities going to be motivated? 
There we go. There we go. Super chat's done. I want to move over to Amadou Onana, yeah? Because there's a lot of discourse around him saying that he suits the way we play, yeah? And he suits our style. You know what I mean? Listen, there's people out there that are thinking he could be the, the perfect man to replace Casemiro in that middle of the park. Are we really... Are we really buying into the Amadou Onana hype? Yeah. Come on, Nuruddin. You said Everton Boxers, man. Come on, Nuruddin. You said we play Boxers. <laughs> yeah, come up, on, Nuruddin. Come on, Nuruddin. Bring Garner back. I'm that. taking Onana as, as a squad option. I'm not squad, taking him yeah. as someone. Bring Garner back. At the right Get price, me, man. It has to be Bring the right me Garner back before any Onana. Bring me Garner back. Garner, <laughs> yeah. Because I want where a player that can actually dictate mm. the play. That's what I want, a deep line midfield player and a guy who was actually a leader and captain. Every yeah, bro, and release Kobe Mino further up played. the pitch. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I want. That that's what I want. And I want everybody to fight, everybody to have to play yeah. with intensity and aggression. So it's not just that we rely on one or two players in certain positions, but I want a deep lying player who can, and Ghana is that guy. And he proved it to me. Almost, honestly, it was a pleasure to watch the kid. I swear to you. I like, know, but let's not so get emotional and bring him back. He's not. No, no, no. Listen, no, I'm not saying, quality, to get so better, well, to get man. better. But I'm saying to you, anybody out of Everton, mm. Ghana back. And I'm not yeah. giving it straight and lighting up as, as a squad player where it should have been for Manchester United. Mm. But Unana, I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm not an Everton fan. I've not watched him too tough. But what I've watched of him, nah. Nah, for me, yeah, I think I think he down. I think he suits I think he suits Arsenal to go play next to Declan Rice. I don't think he suits us um in terms of being the answer, bro. For yeah, me, he's yeah. not the answer, bro. Um we yeah. need someone we need someone in the first phase desperately. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Kobe Mino is an eight. We saw it yeah, um, in the England game as well, bro. He's creative, man. He needs to get on the ball, he needs to break pressure and stuff like that. He can't be He's not our Jorginho blood. We need someone yeah, that's just going to pick up the well. ball off um, the defenders and move the ball forward. Progress. Uh, it's not for us to know who that is. That's why we've got the scout, the vast scouting network that Oli was talking about. So go find us a number six that can do the distribution, yeah, and free up Kobe Mino, bro. But um, Anana is not that player. If someone told me that we're bringing in Anana as a squad option, yeah, and we were get and say we were getting rid of Ericsson and Amrabat and Anana was coming in to be. On the bench, cool, different conversation. But nah, not not to come in and start for us. No, thank you. Unana as a Scott Scott McTominay replacement. Oh, hundred oh, percent. Yeah. yeah, there you go. All there you go. Right, if you get yeah. rid of McTominay and Amrabat, yeah, and and yes. you say, you know what, we're bringing him in instead. All right, cool. Trapped. No, come on, you man. could do that with the money as well. You could generate thirty-five mil from Scott and just put that straight into my man. You've not really put too much money in it. Yeah, well, obviously he he's right. he's not, million. He's not a priority. He's not come a priority. Come on, traps, man. Trout. Come on, that's the upgrade. One keeps on, in that. I think Doug, Douglas Ruiz is an amazing shout, bro. If we could get him, yo, he's, he's an amazing right. shout. He's all right, still. I, he's still, amazing. We're getting him. Let's stop. Still... We're not getting him. I still feel no, like no, we no, need no, to no, go. No, you know what? Honestly, <laughs> no, no, we're not getting him. We're not getting that guy. What about him? Who? Hey, listen, Benfica make more money. Who's the guy from Atalanta? What's his name? Cooper Myers. Cooper Myers. Cooper Myers. Cooper Myers. He's good. He's good. He's good. Cooper Myers. Come on, Don't side. You always know these ones. Ballers, players, man. Side, man, give us I'm a baller, sure. man. You always know these ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cooper Bay. That's what I'm saying. Cooper Bay is no, good. It's the other guy. Like no, it's not Cooper. It's the other guy. Side. Manchester United are linked with the other guy. He's the guy who plays the midfield next. Oh, week. um, uh, Scalvini. 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 That's but he's more of a centre back, though. Live. He's more of a centre back, though. United he's more of a centre back. That's the problem. Two midfielders. He's leaving. That core man is leaving, but the other player that who plays the midfield as well. Listen, the kid at Benfica. Benfica. You know one thing about Benfica. But Fika are number one in world football. Yeah, they know how to when sell. When they set the yeah. price, they yeah. will take the risk. You, nobody, in the past five, six years, nobody in world football has made more money. Yeah, they've been Fika. Fika. Yeah, I know. They normally have, they normally have buyout clauses. That's why they insert yeah. these yeah. mad clauses in their players. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, bro. Who's this Edison the chatter on about? Who's that? Edison. Is that from um, Atalanta? I've not really seen much of him, to be honest with you. But you know what it is, yeah? My thing is, yeah, like, with, with, I just want to see a player that can play the first phase and be well, man. Like, I'm mm. tired of these players that yeah. we always bring in. Casemiro do the job, yeah, where he's not meant to do. He's not a first phase midfielder for me, personally. He's not. He's never been he can actually do career, more really. going forward. He actually yeah. could do more going forward and having that license to get in the box because he's a, he's a goal scorer. You know what I'm saying? I want to bring he's in... He's a threat in the box, yeah. He's a threat in a position... 
He's a threat in the box. You know what I mean? You know, um, I, it, 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 I just can I just, it brings in a lot of complication as well. Why, for example, I want to part ways with Eric Tanag. If you keep Eric, and let's say he looks for a midfielder to come in to replace Casemiro, Mason Mount is going to come back next season, right? He's going to probably be oh. the probability of him being available is is much higher than this season, right? So this manager wanted to play with two eights or two tens, as some would say, Bruno and, and Mason Mount, leaving you with one singular midfielder for the first phase of play. Now, are you willing to have um, Kobe Mino be in the bench for majority of the games? Or are you willing to go and bring in a first phase footballer to go and play the Casemiro role? Right now, we have a little balance between Kobe Mino, Casemiro and Bruno, right? We, we, can, we can sit here and say, let Kobe play the eight, let Cass play the six next season the complication gets even more because my man bought mason mount now yeah. mason is not uh -huh. the type of player that is going I, I, i'm sorry if i'm speaking chinese here but understand where i'm coming from mason ain't the type of player to sit in bench for bruno fernandez my yeah. man bruno never gets benched they gave him Both the seven the bro he's not sitting on a bench bro and he, on to, thank you right now you're looking for a right winger is he gonna push bruno to the right or mason to the right to accommodate a new midfielder coming oh, in yes. who's who's gonna play and and in a, and in a proper organized football club you want to have two sixes in certain game you want to have two tens in a certain game for example you you want that option you want that availability Fluid, if you yeah. want to play some games front foot you might play with two tens Kobe Minos two, made two this eights. manager like, look like an idiot I'll be honest absolute like, idiot absolute yes he's made yeah. him look like an idiot because the more you think about it yeah, this manager's come out and said, Yeah, that he heard about Kobe Mino when he came in and he's keeping an eye on him. But if you knew he was going to promote him, why do you spend 60 million on Mason Mount? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Mount on the wing does not make sense because he's not a winger, he's not he's not mm. that direct winger that 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 flary beat a man, whip the ball, cross the ball. Diego Dalu is more of a winger than Mason Mount, in my opinion. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like just, just yeah. on an attribute level. So that's why it's it's the, the midfield situation is so complex. How can Eric Ten Hag sit in the summer, this summer gone, look at his board, look at his squad, look at Christian Eriksen on that whiteboard and say, I need to sign Mason Mount. It is fucking baffling. You mm -hmm. have a deep line playmaker who's run out of legs with no disrespect. You need to replace right. him with someone who's a deep line playmaker so you can feel... What the fuck does Mason Mount bring? And Mount is a similar profile to Bruno, and I always said it. Why would you bring in a player that's a very similar profile to Bruno yeah. if we're talking about profiles? That's why lack of profiles excuse for Ten Hag doesn't work. It doesn't, you because know, Amrabat is meant to be similar profile to Casemiro. So yeah. how come when Casemiro wasn't available against Liverpool, he didn't play Amrabat? Play Amrabat. Yeah. Well, we paid him so, the, so yeah. that's why, Ryan, I, I somewhat disagree with your analogy of playing Mino in an eight. I, I want to do that, but I think the probability if he stays is he's gonna play Mino in a six and 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 yeah, play I, I don't believe and play I don't Mason believe he stays. I've made peace with the fact that he's leaving. So mm. I'm thinking about next season. Well, and right. there's no reason yeah. why right. you can't is play. There, right. There's no reason why you can't play two eights um in Cass and Kobe and still get a number six. You don't need to play with a number ten. You don't have to play. There's a myth. You don't need to play with a ten, bro. You, you know don't. what I'm saying? You but can play with two eights. Last games changed. And and on also. When you play with two eights anyway, Cass gets into the box and Kobe would yeah. also have the freedom to get further yeah. forward if he wants, but you still need the insurance mm. behind, bro. A lot of teams don't yeah. play with tens in modern football. The other they thing don't. as well yeah. is, you know, we can't trust the manager that if he gets the players, this is why I think a lot of us more so a bit like, nah, because it's like, even if we buy the right profiles, if it's an amazing summer, I don't trust it will play the right combination. He's mm. played a lot of the times like Bruno, McTominay and Cass. And I just know when I see the team sheet, what it's going to look like. And um, Danny, devil in the details, he was breaking down on your stream side a while ago. And he's saying that he literally has a a disregard, like his system involves a lot of the time him leaving. Him, right? Right? So to yeah, me, yeah. this is why sometimes I question with the manager as well. Like, it's like, I'm sorry to bring it back to him, but it just, it just goes back to everything kind of goes back to him in, in a way. It's like, <laughs> it's like, how can you look at the Premier League and be like, I'll play a lone six with the profiles that you haven't got, that you talk about you haven't got all the time? It just doesn't make sense. And it's also like, the style of play, the style of the other, like and also the style of the teams everywhere else. You can get away yeah. with that in Holland because Not you, like, Not you know what Premier you're League. playing against, bro. Oh, but in the Prem, you come up against so many different styles. Every single team you play plays differently. That's one thing about the Premier League. Like, bro, 
like no two teams here yeah, play the same football. Exactly. Like no two teams, bro. You've got the biggest mis mishmash when it comes to different nationalities of managers, different nationality of players. Every team's got a something different for you. You can't just decide, oh yeah, we're gonna play a single pivot, bro, and you're not Give gonna get a baseline to go well, from. Give us some structure. Imagine and solid, like the it? Premier League teams, bro. Talk about Newport and them teams, bro. Like, oh you know what I'm saying? Don't work, don't work. Don't, don't, don't give no credit. That's why I'm not confident with the commentary like, game, you know. Let Marcel <laughs> come in, man. Let Marcel come in. Yeah, Marcel's going to say something. What is, what is no, Marcel, no what's way. your player profile in that area? What would you do? Because I want to hear interested from you. So, so um, on, 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 I think there were situations as to why he, you know, uh, implemented the 3 one six at the beginning of the season, Leon, and... and and, it, and we have to really respect those injuries because I know you're talking about specific games where he plays Bruno, Cass, Scott, but I would really like to see the players available for the selection. I hate when people brandish these statements and they will say something, complain about it. But, but give me that specific scenario where Tenag had to look at the squad for that particular game and you'll usually see that he plays the strongest 11 or what's strongestly available to him. But again, give me that specific where you said, oh, this gave me a headache, he should have picked this player and this player. In these series of football matches where injuries happened and occurred, then I can understand it a bit more. I'll just say but one thing. Too... Sorry, I don't want to interrupt you too much. I'll just say, no, say one cool. thing. It's not, it's not the right selection. It's how he's using the selection. Because we've seen other managers, yeah? It's both, and we've though, seen, yeah, like, for yeah, example, right. yeah, in the Premier League, yeah, we all know. Let's just say you're the manager right now, Marcel, yeah? It doesn't take a genius coaching badges and that sort of thing. I'm not disrespecting people who've got that. But all of us here can see to get more sustained success in the Premier League, you play two players next to each other, like in that midfield. What, what roles you give them, but when you're defensively, you just, it's just, if you see, for me, it's like insanity. If you're seeing the same thing all the time, like, no, yeah. no, we were talking oh, about yeah. the Liverpool game, yeah? There's like 15, 20 games this season where we've just left with Donut FC. Over yeah, and yeah, over yeah. and week after week. And Nuruddin said it. I'm watching Luton boppers, Bournemouth boppers, but they're not, to, to be fair to Nuruddin, they are boppers, yeah. but at the same time, we're just making it easy for their manager. They're just yeah, sitting yeah. in the change room like, yeah. they'll leave a hole in the midfield, overload them, <clears> better chance of winning. Basic, but bro, man. even even the playing two players next to each other, you can play a single pivot if you have a specialist. If you know you don't have one, that's mm. even more reason to not do that. And when that's you talk true. about the profiles and how they use players, yeah, this manager showed us even last season. Yeah, remember when we had um, Sabitzer? This brother no. told us that Sabitzer was th the six, and he was to play instead of Casemiro. We played, played we played Sabitzer in the 10 year. He scored a brace and okay. we never saw him there again. You know, like that. And now yep. Sabitzer is playing on the wing for Dortmund. So Sabitzer has never been Dortmund. a six. But this manager decided yep. that he was a six in the team and they couldn't play together. This guy yep. has players, misprofiles them yeah. all the time, plays them in yeah. the wrong positions. And you wonder why we're not getting the best out of players. He Real doesn't right. even know like a player when he has one. Mad. And then he yeah. waits he for the game for them to perform. And then he says, Yeah, I meant to do that. Yeah, that's Marcel. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like when he does have the right profiles and he's got good options, he puts them in the wrong places. Yeah. Well, 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 well if you can, let me show me that on 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 Sabitza because I, and I think that's not it. it I forget Sabitza. Bruno Let's on the right. Serious. Bruno on the right. Bruno on the left. Forget Sabitza. Bruno on the right. Explain why Bruno plays on the right. Simply. Again, Let's explain. Again. So again, for me, you would have to see because that was last season's work. Bruno on the right predominantly anyway, and we'd have to see what the squad was saying, the way that we wanted to play football that particular period of time. The and day that the game that Ahmad, sorry to cut you off Marcel, because I just yeah, want to get straight to the point. The yeah, game yeah. that we could have put Ahmad on the right, and we had, and so we put, we put Rashford, when Hoyland got injured, we put Rashford from the left into the middle, we moved Garnacho from his r best right side to the left side, and we put Bruno on the right. Yeah. Why did he do that when he yeah, had yeah. right wingers that he could put, that he could put on? Explain yeah, that. Yeah, I know. He had so options. Yeah, yeah. So again, like I've mentioned in this whole stream, his in-game management is poor. So, so I've understood yeah. in terms of his frailties in that regard. That's that fair. I've, I've, I'm not skipping from that. The, you so know, why do you so support him? That. This, this, this is what we all want to know. Like, th this is th this is the long and short of it. The long and short of it is, why do you speak about someone with so much conviction? Yeah, when you know that he's flawed and he's massively flawed, bro. That's what I'm saying. The conviction doesn't make sense. This is why. Well, yeah. It's not that you're you're happy with him because you can be happy with him, but you you speak with so much conviction. Yeah. But you but you're very you're very aware that he's a very flawed individual, yeah, and he's yeah. done a lot of things wrong. So where does this conviction come from? Is it out of hope, bro? 
Well, everything, I think, to a degree is out of hope, especially when we're talking and looking into the future. Even your guys' uh, opinions of the manager is out of hope that. that it's correct to a degree, to a certain degree. So everything's out of hope. For me, it's... Well, this current manager, it's not hope, sample, There's enough evidence. Sample size is nothing. Again, okay, well, if, hey, bro, if, if someone's holding a smoking gun and there's a bullet in someone's head, bro, I'm like, it, it is what it is, you know? I don't like, know pray all day. Traps, let me ask him one last question. After, no, after no, Traps, I'm going to ask you one answer, question. Let him answer yeah. as well. Let him answer as well. Yeah, go on, Traps. Yeah, Marcel, yeah. Yeah, so so the ho- it's not really off a premise of hope. Again, it's the, it's the style of football. I, this front foot style of football that he's trying to implement. Um, I can see elements of the high block. Also, we're talking about, you know, football is a game of space. So we're talking about the space and, and that the donuts in the middle. Um, I think he's going to fix that. He's going to he's going to try and push the defensive line higher up to squeeze the three lines together. So there's not that space. I think the right profile, right profile of players, Rats, will change that. You know, I genuinely do. So a, a lot of like a lot you of don't the, need fit- the right profile of players to play a high line, bro. We saw um, we saw Ange Postacoglu play. Four, four fullbacks at centre back, and he still played on the halfway line. There's no excuses for our defensive line to be so low and our attacking line to be so high. There's no excuses for it. It's not lack of pace because Varane's not slow. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cool. Maguire's not got pace, but bro, they've they, they got the little um Congolese kid as well. He's got pace. There's centre backs that can Bala. run, bro. I, yeah. they, is, is is Cambuala gonna do it at the top level week in week out? We don't know. It, yeah, Maguire, he doesn't, he he doesn't do... have to do it at the top level week in week out. We're not playing top to level teams it. week in yeah. week out. Sometimes well, well, we're playing Rance... against relegation fodder and we're getting touched, bro. Yeah, like, well, well, uh-huh. well, Rance, in that in that regard, you have to think about the the squad balance and and playing players a certain amount of games and all these kind of he's things. And he's gonna want half the squad. Pardon. He's brought in these players, bro. We can't talk about squad balance. The Brez brought in, yeah, double figures amount of players. We can't be talking about balance anymore. All the players that are here are here because he wants them here, bro. No, no, I, well, I disagree with that again. I think, you know, there's clear players that were made surplus to requirements. The club, I think, have some degree of holding on to them. Scott McTominay. Yeah, even but even so. Not, even, uh, even, that's because even, our even, squad's even, too even, big, even, though. It's not that our squad's too, sl- too small. It's too big, bro. The, like, what, this what, brother what, went out there, yeah, and got a left back on loan, Regulon, yeah, and then got rid of him without playing him. And now oh, we've got no sure on Malassia, bro. <laughs> Malassia's had two knee surgeries, but he decided to loan out the young left back at the start of the season, bro. The whole thing is bonkers. When you yeah, look at what he's doing, fault? he. Is he's that got his no, fault? Yes, it is his fault because he sure, can veto it. He could have said, no, yeah. we're keeping no, this I'm, guy here. I'm, I'm he could have said, we're about... keeping um, Fernandez, Fernandez here. We're not Wait. letting him go. It's on him. He could yeah. have said yeah. that. Can I, just, can, I just hear, can I just word out this bit before I... So, yeah, the yeah. fact that Malassia and Luke Shaw get injured, the amount of times that they get injured, Rance, it's not his fault. Malassia was already he's, injured, he's bro. He's, he's had he's two like, knee surgeries, bro. He's in Holland. He's not bad. Listen, he's had two. The guy has been injured for a minute. He didn't just get injured, bro. Luke Shaw's yeah, injury the- history speaks for itself. You do yeah. not loan out a left back, then bring in one and not use it, and then let him go and then I think I think this is from a position you're talking from a very strong position of hindsight, in my opinion. You know, and and, and no, it's called Malassia, forward planning, it's not no, about no, hindsight because every, second, every hold, team hold, in hold, football hold, injury. I don't ever Marcel, get to finish Marcel, what I'm saying. Marcel, wait, wait, wait. There is no way you can tell me at the start of this season, yeah, you've looked at your situation, you've ended up with Malassia, yeah, that's injured. You've ended up with Luke Shaw, that's injured. You've gone and got uh, you've ended up with uh Fernandez, Alvaro Fernandez. Yeah, you put him Regular. on loan. You end up with Regulon. Yeah, you've so you've had four options at the start of the season. You mean to tell me, yeah, at this point you should be ended up with Lindelof at left back? You think that's you, that, that's impossible? From January, no, so can I, that's impossible. Can I, can I, do I get to finish? Do I get to yeah, go on. Let him, oh, let, let's let's see what he's got to say. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so... Firstly, the, the situation with Malassia and Shaw, you cannot really account for. Did they start off injured at the start of the season, Traps? Yes or no? Which one? Well, you knew Shaw's record, though. You knew Shaw's Shaw, record. No, but, 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 but the reality is, you don't... No, you, hold you, on. Malassia, Malassia. Let him land, let him land, let him land. No, let him land. Let him land. No, let's not let him land. Let's debate this, because he asked the question. Yeah, yeah. So, was, okay, okay. did they end up with? Did they end up with? with at the beginning of the season, injured? at the first, at the first football game of the season, traps it was both Luke Shaw and 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 Malassia injured. Malassia no. was, Malassia well, was, but Luke Shaw was yes. his injury record. So Malassia. you have to put that into oh, account. Oh, oh, let, him, let him continue. Malassia was injured, but Luke Shaw so, was. That's one. Continue. So Luke Shaw's Luke Shaw's available, and then you have um, yeah. a, a Fernandez who's been so, sold on, and you got Reggion to replace that. Yeah, right. 
Right. So you have two fit footballers at that point, which is not an issue. Right. Right. So Reguilon and Luke Shaw, no problem. So okay. now he's got told, and this is what he's telling us, that he was told that Malaysia would be back after the after the winter break, right? Right. Um, tell me that's that's let me know I if he's lying. Know. I think yeah, so. no, no, I no. Think that's, that's what true. he said. Yeah. That's what he said. That's perfect. what he said in the press conference. Perfect. perfect. So he would have been old. in that. Si so yeah. right now he would have been in a predicament where he has Malassia and Shaw. But that no, 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 no. But I just mentioned something. Oh, wait, one second, say when, 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 when uh, at the start of the season, Malassia was injured. Luke Shaw wasn't. Yeah. At the time, yeah, of um of Regulon being about, I'm sure that's the time where. It was still both Luke injured. Shaw, and Luke yeah. Shaw got injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Luke Shaw so, got injured before so Regulon left, I think. What, yeah. Regardless of yeah. what, he did. Regardless of what, he did. At it, no it, present time in this season had this man had two left backs. And bro, not only yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, there was so a time has, where so Regulon was at so the club and was fit, was was and on the bench. He didn't play. And Lindelof play. was uh, playing at left back, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we were yeah. playing with That's no left saying. back, with regular on the bench. Left on the bench. Right. Facts. Because yeah. he's injured. Because he was injured. He was injured at one point. No, no, no. He wasn't, yeah. bro. I swear now, he wasn't. He was on the bench. He, was a, he came yeah. on against Chelsea. Remember, second half. No, but Said. Said. No, but what I'm trying to say to you, Said, is Reguilon has been injured at Manchester United Football Club. He's not been available to play. He's been ill as well. So during that stage where we're saying that Lindelof was at left back, like I was saying, the blanket statements, I was mentioning what Leon was alone, saying. Was Red, out for can me you bring up, game, bring up that game? If you can bring up that game, please, where Reguilon's on the bench and Lindelof's there, how close is it to the injury period or the fitness period? All these little things are managing. Ah, come on, Marcel, Marcel. It's not crazy. That's like you lot. That's like you lot. By the way, no, let me finish. Can I Can I get to finish? So that's yeah, yeah. like you lot complaining about the injury stuff. And then it's like you lot think players, humans can go straight, like they've just been injured and they go straight back in. And I'm like to everyone, remember, and it was, I don't even want to mention the guy, but I was like, you know, flipping Mason Mount is, is you know, coming back from a calf injury is not quick or is it hamstring injury? And then I said, you, you might get injured again if you rush him back. Lo and behold, he, um, he gets injured again. Was he injured at my United? This is the latest injuries record. He was he injured at United? This is what makes me laugh, though. Like, he, was, on, yeah. he was ill. Yeah. He, was, he, was, he, he was ill for, was like, Ill. He wasn't injured. Yeah. And that's illnesses, happen, bro. What other, illnesses. What other, club, what other mm. manager mm. does this? What other manager does this? And this is what I'm going to ask you as well, yeah? Um, Marcel, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Believe, we're going to wrap it up. My, my belief is, is that I believe that there's a group chat, yeah, with 19 of these managers in it, and Ten Hag's the only one that's not in it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they talk about him. I feel like they talk about him and they laugh about him and they send memes and they have a joke. <laughs> whatever. But how can you, do you mean to tell? Don't you don't you see that no team that rocks up to Manchester to Old Trafford to play this manager has any fear of this manager? Yeah, or literally. All these they don't respect him. So don't you not see that as a red flag? No, but no, there's no manager, whether it's Luton Town, yeah, to Manchester City, respects this man and respects what he does. They will come there and they will play their football, yeah. They, he doesn't scare anybody. Do you, doesn't, don't you see that as a red flag? Yeah, no. and Syed, can Spelly, I ask one last question, Marcel? Doors, the question I want to ask you, yeah, it's two years Syed, early doors. Bro. I mean, it's two years Marcel, yeah, yeah. this is my final question yeah, for you that I want to ask you earlier. Or go on, though. A change, a change of style is a, is a fresh starting point. Last season, counter-attack esque Leon. This season, front foot esque So it's, it's a new... Ever, he's trying to evolve the club to that taking the next step that Oli was talking about, that he never got to achieve. You should have done Always that in the first season when he came in, bro. You ain't got yeah, two years. Sure. You know what? Rhino, go this on. Is set. This is it. Sorry. Yeah, let me let Nuremberg go. I'm going to ask after. The first six weeks, sorry, six months, he should have implemented his style yeah. and stuck to it by yep. hook or crook, mate. And if yep. you ain't doing it, Tara, Tara, yeah, expose yeah. the players who can't do why it. Why not, Marcel? No, why not, Marcel? Why to do it? So, and also, no, why, why bring in players, not yeah? Why are surplus to requirements? Uh, Scott surplus to, to requirements. Early doors. Who's saving his job the, right the now? The McFred, the hey, McFred partnership. That's a narrative. Marcel. Now with the hair narrative. No, 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 Marcel, if the manager ready, knew, yeah, if the manager knew he wanted to play 3 1 6 year when he came into Man United, that means that he bought in that summer to play that formation. Yeah, so if yeah. you've bought players to the play bounce, that formation Aaron when you came in, it, yeah. yeah, then why did you abandon it? Why did you abandon it? Because you bought players for a certain system and then you've abandoned it and you've luckily won Again. a trophy. And you know what I'm saying? And got top four, bro. The guy has 
he scammed his whole way through his Man United yep. career, bro. He cheated on the test, bro. He cheated, bro. And, he and, Marcel, 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 and then Rance, like, he did it again this season as well. He abandoned yeah, Marcel, it again. Marcel, 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 he abandoned it twice. In, yeah. Marcel, just hey, before you come in. He played a diamond like. one game. I swear a couple games he played a diamond because Anthony was in... In yeah. Brazil, yeah, trying to stay out of the stay out of jail, bro. And they might play yeah. the diamond. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcel, just diamond before you come in, because obviously this I season we you, played a false you... nine with Sancho, never played it in the league. Yeah, exactly. Never played it, yeah. Marcel, just before you come in, I was gonna say it's like buying all the materials for a house and then saying I don't want to build the yard anymore. It's like my bro, we can't get a refund on the materials now. It's like literally yeah, just exactly. dead money yeah. there, isn't it? But like yeah. the thing is, yeah, <laughs> the, the issue we've got, I think one of the issues we've got is like obviously. He didn't have the confidence or he... I don't know why he didn't play style of play. To me, it comes across like he just didn't have the balls to do it. He didn't like actually like implement what he was confident in. And it's like the hard thing to take is this guy talks with so much confidence and lies to us all the time. Like He talks with real confidence that we played well for 30 yeah, minutes and we did this. And trust me, uh, what did he say about Anthony? He can be invincible or something. Or yeah, Remember yeah, when he said that? Unstoppable and all this. Yeah, yeah, but it's I'm like, unstoppable. but if you've got all this eras come to an end, I'm maintaining standards. I'm doing this. Listen, I can talk with conviction in these press conferences. Why can't you implement what Nuruddin's saying on the training ground? And why can't you implement or try? If you fail... I'll rate you more. Moose is right. I yeah. would take this manager right now. I would maybe give him a chance if he was trying things. There's a vision, a direction. I just don't feel yeah. like, yeah, I just feel like vision, direction. the concuss thing direction. from Musa will always last on this on this online space because he's just lost. Mm. Everything just, yep. but yeah, sorry, Marcel. But Marcel can ask my last question. If this yeah, was an yeah, investment, yeah, this is what I wanted to ask you earlier. Please, oh. for the love of whatever religion you follow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if this was your investment and every positive thing Ten Hag did was money in your pocket and every negative outcome was back, it was a minus. And this was your establishment, your money. Oof. And be and bearing in mind, if we look at everything, you're bankrupt right now. Are you keeping this manager, bro? Are you honestly, oh, this man. is your piece. Forget the Glazers. This is your actual money right now. You're looking at Ten Hag. Marcel You've got United. choices in the summer. You've got choices in the summer to replace homeboy. Are you going to keep him and believe in this faith the same way? Or are you going to now say, you know what? I'm going to let my man go. I'm going to go, I'm gonna invest in something else. Honestly. I'm going to keep him. Oh, I'm going to keep really? him. Right. You know, okay. this, 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 this is it. why. And this hey, is why. Rhino, Rhino. Hey, you got it. Right. You got it right. Rhino. 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 I demo with no mass in their bag. That. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't lie, yeah. Like, that's <laughs> true Marcel fashion, bro. I swear, the other Marcel is about to take his wife back as well, and she cheated. So. I swear down. One thing about Marcel is they're loyal brothers. I swear down. Loyal, loyal. Nah, I rate, I rate. I, I, I hear it. Wrap up. Nah, no, we need to wrap up. We need to wrap up, man. It's been an amazing, amazing show. Whatever. Three more super chats to read out. Uh, no Anana, please play. Need players with technical ability. Facts. Leon said Jake 97. We should have high standards. Keep sacking them until we get it right. The board needs to move away from the idea of a long-term manager. And we ain't we can't sort any midfield out without a style of play. Ooh, Listen, man, big up to, to, to Marcel first and foremost. Like I said, mm -hmm. yeah, you get me. He comes on here, gives his opinion. And, and like I said to you, man, people might disagree with him, but that's his opinion, isn't it? So yeah, big up. everyone in the chat, big, big up, up Marcel, Marcel, as big always. Up, big up, man. You know what I mean? Big up, man, as always, man. Like, always love, man. And yeah, man, what a show, people, man. Leave, you people, get the likes up. We need 1.5K likes. I think we just went past... Um, a thousand likes. We're currently on 1.1. So get them up to 1.5 if you can. Yeah, I mean, man, them talk Wednesdays, man. You don't need to be here, man. You know what I'm saying yeah. to you? Tyrone will be back next week. 
They do. Yo, that's what I was gonna say before we go. Yeah, yeah? Tyrone and AG, come on, back your, come back and back your boy, man. Some DG yeah. stuff. Come yeah. on, man. Like, keep your... leaving, man. You can't saying. keep rushing, man. It's not good. Man can't run around the streets bragging, rushing, man. We need a little. My last thing you know to myself, these man need to come. Listen, listen. My last thing to myself, myself. You know me. I'm not a guy who throws managers under the bus. You know yeah. what my yeah, war yeah, yeah. is. I want to burn down the glazes. And yeah, the you've yeah. been the structure from oh, the start. That's the listen, thing, and you've changed. Yeah, yeah. What, what does that yeah. tell you when I am in these, man? I'm, I'm in yeah. these. What does that yeah. think? Does it not, does, does that not, does, do you not think, mm, you why patient, people man. that would usually, who are not, who think managers need time and blame a lot of the problems on the actual club and the infrastructure of the football club. For me, I'm just sick of getting bopped, bro. I swear, I don't know. Do you go to, yeah, you go yeah. to every game? Do you go to every yeah. game, most games? No, nah, he's there, he's there, man. Marcel's there. there. Yeah, Marcel's there. there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, 80% of the games. Yeah, but so what, do you, you say that you enjoy How, how do you, how That's have you caught this season, bro? <laughs> how? I don't how, enjoy it. No, I just feel like you need to be more patient. You need to be more patient in the process. Right now, oh, he's no, doing please. a lot of stuff. Listen, listen, no, no, listen, no, no, listen, no, no, lock no, it off. Because of the... No, 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 no. Hey, listen, my, brother. My, we've, been, bro, we've been patient. That Me and Nuruddin have both said, yeah, that we will take, yeah, the team finishing low, yeah, if it means yeah. we're playing good football and we're going in the right direction. It's not about impatience, bro. You need yeah. to, you need to build something, something or show us mm. that you're building something. If you mm. give me something to buy into, you will get patience from me. He what said it already, Rance. He'll what go broke for it. Rant? He'll what go broke for it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what about what he's building with the youth squad right now? What about youth team's dead, Lord 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 have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have Lord have mercy. 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 Hold on, hold on. That sounds like you took over someone else's kid. You're the stepdad and you're proud. You're loud and proud, yeah? Loud and proud <laughs> stepdad. That's what you lot are. That's Can we have a rule Listen, Listen, people. Well. Listen, people. Can we have a rule? Shout out to all the stepdads. Marcel, Marcel, we, Marcel, we should have warned you. Yeah? <laughs> Shout out to the stepdads. We lock it off, man. We lock it off. We lock it off. We're disrespecting stepdads, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. Before you lock it off, yeah? Just one thing, yeah? Marcel, we should have warned you. Yeah, we don't. You just see that process and patient thing. We don't. That's words that are banished. That's blasphemy on yeah. mandem talk. Can't, do, can't that. do that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyrone and yeah. Neji, who's that, my man? Woo! Jump my brother. Hey, come outside. Don't lose me. Come back and back your boy. Yo, 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 people. Guys, follow everyone. Follow up everyone. I'm never gonna end the show. Follow up everyone. Subscribe to the channel. We're out. Thank you.